Hello friends, this is Grief speaking. Well, this is a little overdue, but this is the entire Body Horror Iceberg series in one video, so you can watch or listen to it marathon style. It's crazy looking back over this a year later now and seeing how far the channel's come. I do want to point out that this is my original run of Body Horror videos based on Dripcat's chart. Since then, the iceberg has grown, and it'll continue to grow, I'm assuming, since it's such a broad category, but I just wanted to put everything I'd done so far into a complete video. I am, however, currently working on a new body horror series that is essentially a continuation of the series but not based on an iceberg chart. Rather, I'll be covering my own body horror picks as well as suggestions from viewers. So there will be new body horror content coming soon. This is simply the original iceberg as well as two bonus body horror videos I did with extra entries at the end. I actually think a lot of people who were following the series missed these last videos because they were age restricted and severely limited on views. I probably won't have an outro on this video so I just wanted to first off thank Kill Me Katie for letting me use his music throughout this entire series. If you haven't checked him out he'll be in the description below. And secondly my patrons. Naomi Romero, Soma, Krusty the Crab, One Group, Ali Morgan, Laz Wishgender, Malediction, Hunter Piva, Tora, Heather M, and Creepypasta Q. You guys are awesome, I really appreciate your support. But that's enough blabbering out of me. There's over three hours of body horror to get to here. So without further ado, this is the body horror iceberg complete. Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street definitely stands out in the realm of slashers when it comes to body horror, mostly due to the bizarre forms Freddy takes in the dream world, not to mention what he does to some of his victims, like pulling tendons out of a guy's body and controlling him like a puppet. Adventure Time. Adventure Time definitely has its share of bizarre humanoid beings, from mutants to aliens, alternate species, Adventure Time has it all, and with all of these come some really off-putting light examples of body horror. Airheads. This is referring to the 90s and early 2000s airhead commercials where kids' heads literally turned into balloons. Akira. Probably one of the most famous animes of all time, Akira has multiple scenes of violence and gore, but the real cream of the body horror crop is the transformation of Tetsuo at the end of the movie that looks absolutely revolting. Alien. I think this one's obvious. Besides plenty of great alien kills, the movie has one of the most iconic horror scenes of all time, the chestburster scene. I'd also point out that the weird android milk blood is pretty gross. Among Us. Among Us is obviously inspired story-wise by The Thing, which we'll get to later, but essentially one of the crew is just an alien imposter, and we see some of the creepy body aspects here with the kills. Anti-drug commercials. This is referring to a line of anti-drug ads in the 2000s, basically trying to showcase how people change when using drugs, and using some creepy CGI to alter the drug user's body so that they're all flat. It's funny and disturbing. Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan features weird ass naked giants, which is enough to put it on the list, but also whenever characters transform into titans, it's pretty graphic. Beetlejuice. Our favorite undead dirtball, Beetlejuice, transforms his body several times in creepy ways. But the real freaky stuff comes into play when the two main characters alter their appearance in order to try and look scarier. And they do. Ben 10. This one seems ridiculous, but as a kid, I could imagine the weird stuff that happens to Ben's skin as he transforms being unsettling. Berserk. Berserk is a beloved manga featuring a swordsman guts as he battles inhuman monstrosities called apostles. The real horror is from some of the grotesque bodies of the apostles along with other creatures in the world. Bloodborne. Bloodborne is a Souls-like game developed by From Software, and although it's a different setting than Dark Souls, it still features really disturbing creatures and enemies. Breaking Bad. I'm not entirely sure what the body horror of Breaking Bad is, but the show has a share of blood and gore, including dissolving a human body in a bathtub, and spoilers, but I'm gonna go out on a limb here and guess that Gus Fringe's face being blown off is why it's made the list. Cars 2. This is more comedic, but the idea is that the cars themselves are a form of body horror, especially if you pair this with the fan theory that the cars are actually just evolved humans. Cell Absorb. This is referencing Cell from Dragon Ball, who has the ability to absorb people which changes and evolves his form. Child's Play. In Child's Play, Charles Lee Ray's soul is transferred into a doll's body, and then that body starts to become human, which is a perfect example of body horror. I actually made a video breaking down every mainline Chucky movie if you want to check it out. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Courage is one of the creepiest kids cartoons ever, and it's chock full of body horror and humanoid creatures. But probably the freakiest is the you're not perfect thing, which still haunts many kids who saw the random creature back in the day. David Cronenberg. Cronenberg is a director famous for his horror films and probably made this list for a number of reasons, mainly The Fly, which is probably the best body horror film of all time, or at least the most popular. Devil's Machine, Earthbound. The Devil's Machine is a bit mysterious, but it's essentially a device that holds Gygus, the main antagonist in Earthbound. Since it serves as a body for Gygus, it can be 
be classified as body horror. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. There's a couple of weird body things going on in the Multiverse of Madness, but this is likely referencing Strange taking control of his own decaying corpse or Wanda completely destroying the Illuminati in horrific body-altering ways. Doctor Who. Doctor Who has some of the most bizarre humanoid creatures and aliens, but probably one of the best examples I can think of is Lady Cassandra, who in the year 5 billion is nothing but a stretched out slab of skin with a face on it that needs constant moisture to stay alive. Doom. Almost every enemy in Doom can classify as body horror, but I tend to find the ones that are closest to humans the most disturbing. A good example would be the Mancubus. Family Guy. There are too many examples of body horror in Family Guy to count, but an example right off my noggin is when Quagmire and Cleveland's bodies combine in a What If Apocalypse episode. Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm not super knowledgeable about the Freddy's franchise, but I think this is simply referring to the disturbing looking animatronics of Freddy and the rest of the gang, who are possessed by the souls of dead kids. Yeah, pretty dark. Frankenstein. Frankenstein is one of the oldest depictions of body horror, and there's a reason it stood the test of time. A body stitched together from multiple corpses and brought back to life is still a sickening concept. Freaks. This film was actually banned for a long time, and when I finally watched it, I was surprised that it wasn't really a horror movie. There is one scary, climactic scene, but for the most part, it's drama. However, it depends on what freaks you out. If deformities skeeve you out, then this movie can definitely be off-putting, with many of the cast being actual circus members, including the human pillow who has no arms or legs. Fruit Gushers. This is probably referring to the classic Gushers commercial where kids eat Gushers and then turn into different fruit with some creepy CGI. Goosebumps. Goosebumps has a ton of body horror moments, but one of my favorites is when two boys are given a concoction by their old babysitter. They then start rapidly aging so that she can whore their little old asses out to her friends. No, for real, that's, that's an actual episode. Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls in my book is one of the best cartoons ever, and even though it's a Disney show, still has all kinds of creepy, disturbing humanoid characters, particularly in the Weird Mageddon saga of the show. H.P. Lovecraft. The king of cosmic horror, of course, mingles often with body horror. A couple of examples would be the devolved humans living under the castle and rats in the walls, and the concept of slowly turning into a freakish fish person in the shadow over Innsmouth. Half-Life. Headcrab zombies. What more do I need to say? House MD. Every medical show has some gross stuff here and there, but House really pushes it into pure body horror. There are a lot of examples, but a few are when a burn victim is treated with maggots or when a dude's testicle explodes. I have no mouth and must scream. This is one of the darkest short stories ever about an AI torturing a group of humans for eternity. Besides various forms of torture and violence, one character, Benny, has had his physical appearance altered to be chimp-like, and he has radiation scars all over him. Spoilers, but the last living human ends up being transformed into... Well, I'll just quote it. I am a great soft jelly thing, smoothly rounded with no mouth, with pulsing white holes filled by fog where my eyes used to be, rubbery appendages that were once my arms, bulks rounding down into legless humps of soft slippery matter. I leave a moist trail when I move. Blotches of diseased evil gray come and go on my surface, as though light is being beamed from within. I mean, holy shit. Indiana Jones face melt. One of the most unexpected horrifying scenes in a movie is this iconic face melt scene from Raiders of the Lost Ark. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I'm going to use the 1978 version for this reference because the body snatchers are just a little scarier and also this creepy ass dog with a man's face. What the hell? It. This is probably in reference to Pennywise's body transformations and also the other humanoid shapes he takes. Plus he bites a kid's freaking arm off, so there's that. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. I don't know much about JoJo, but from what I understand, it's got a lot of horror elements to it, including gross body transformations and also this weird scene where a dude jumps out of a horse. Left for Dead. It's not just the zombies of the Left 4 Dead series, but the special zombies that really showcase the body horror here. The Boomer, Spitter, and Tank are just a few examples of the twisted body shapes the undead take on. Lilo and Stitch. This is one of those ones that's probably a joke, but I guess the mad scientist alien creation aspect counts as body horror. Metroid. This is likely referring to the Metroid creatures themselves, which evolved through several mutations, and of course the disgusting Metroid Queen. Michael Jackson's Thriller. More zombie horror here as Michael Jackson dances with a horde of zombies. Maybe that makes it more disturbing for some people? I don't know. Also, he transforms into a werecat at some point, so there's that. Parasite. Parasite is a manga about a high school student who is infected with an alien parasite. The parasite attempts to enter his brain to control his whole body, but ends up entering his arm. The parasite now controls his arm and maintains its own personality. Resident Evil. You could do a whole video on the body horror in Resident Evil, not just because of the zombies, but oftentimes characters transform into monstrosities. Sometimes it's over the top, and other times it's absolutely disgusting, like the mom in Resident Evil 7, for example. Rick and Morty. This is one of those entries that make me feel stupid for pointing it out, but obviously there's all kinds of examples like Pickle Rick and when Jerry gets turned into a worm, not to mention zombies, aliens, mutants, everything. 
Runaway Brain. This is a 1995 Disney movie where Mickey Mouse switches bodies with a Frankenstein-like creature, so, you know, body swap zombie stuff. It fits. Saturn Devouring His Son. This might be one of the most talked about paintings on the YouTube horror space, and for good reason, because it's really striking in a disturbing way. Shape-shifting characters. This is just a general reference to shape-shifting characters, like Mystique from X-Men, for example, or Professor McGonagall, since any kind of shape-shifting is considered body horror to some extent. Silent Hill. Like Resident Evil, Silent Hill has a host of disturbing enemies. But something about Silent Hill's enemy design sets it apart with the humanoid creatures being slightly altered in weird ways. The most famous examples are the nurses and Pyramid Head, of course. Soft construction with boiled beans, premonition of war. So with a name like that, you know this is going to be weird. It's a painting by Salvador Dali that shows a grotesque altered human body destroying itself. I kind of love it. South Park. Another adult cartoon with hundreds of examples of body horror, especially with just so many gory deaths, but some examples would be the human sentai pad and the nurse with a fetus on her head. SpongeBob SquarePants. Honestly, this might just be referring to the characters themselves, who are basically mutants. There's always those weird, detailed close-ups in SpongeBob that really showcase the disturbing nature of these humanoid underwater freaks. Great show. Stranger Things. I've heard Stranger Things praised a lot in the way of body horror. This is mostly in reference to the mind flare possessing people's bodies, which turns them into zombified creatures and ultimately goopy human remains. Stray. Okay, so I think this is referring to the recently released PS5 game in which you play as a cat, but it's a little unclear as to what the body horror reference is. It might be the Zerks, which are creepy little devouring creatures, or maybe the robots who inhabit this city. I don't know, I'm probably missing something big here. The fog that turns everybody inside out. This is specifically in reference to Treehouse of Horror 5, when at the end of a nightmare sequence, Bart wakes up to Marge telling him everything is fine, except that fog that turns everybody inside out. And then it does so. The Disaster of War. This is a collection of art by Francisco Goya, the same guy who did the Saturn Devours His Son painting. They are depicting violent acts of war, or the byproducts of such, and can be pretty gruesome in that regard. The Fly. Since we're talking horror here, let's focus on the 1986 film, because holy hell, this really is one of the quintessential body horror films and might be one of the best horror films of all time. So many disgusting scenes like his fingernails among other body parts falling off. The Island of Dr. Moreau. Although this book and the film based on it are getting old, the disturbing concept of human-animal hybrids is still creepy as hell. The Last of Us. In the Last of Us universe, the main enemies are zombie-like creatures who were taken over by fungal infection, leading to twisted plant-like bodies. I always thought that was a pretty cool take on zombies. The Magic School Bus. Alright, who made this list? Just kidding. This is probably referring to either the episode where they travel in the human body at a microscopic level, or the infamous scene where Arnold takes off his helmet in space and dies. The Matrix. I had to think about this one, but I'm guessing this is in reference to the unused human bodies kept in pods, particularly in the scene where Neo wakes up from the Matrix, which is disturbing as hell. There's a couple other weird moments like Neo being consumed by the mirror and Mr. Smith exploding. Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is a Kafka novella about a salesman who turns into a giant bug. This is one of the earliest examples of this horror trope, and it still holds up. The Thing. The Thing is one of the best body horror concepts on film, particularly the 80s version since the alien replicates other life forms and has some gnarly transformations. These are top-notch horror thanks to the stellar practical effects. Toy Story, Sid's Toys. Sometimes I forget about this scene in Toy Story, but I for sure was a little freaked out when Woody meets Sid's mutant toys. That baby doll spider thing is freaky as hell. Two-Face. This Batman villain's burnt-ass face is pretty disturbing, whether it's a more realistic interpretation, like in The Dark Knight, or a more cartoony adaption. It's pretty grotesque. Werewolf Transformation. Werewolf transformations are a staple of horror at this point, and due to the rapid extending of bones and tearing of flesh, they fit the body horror build perfectly. Probably the best example of a good transformation is, of course, American Werewolf in London. Zombies. This one is kind of obvious, but one of the most classic forms of body horror is live, rotting corpses. This film is filled with violence, but one of the most iconic scenes is Alex having his eyes pulled open by a machine and forced to watch footage by doctors who are trying to cure him from evil behavior. Donkey Transformations, Pinocchio. This is referring to the scene in Pinocchio when he and another troublemaker, Lampwick, begin to transform into donkeys. Emperor Palpatine's Clone. Exactly what it sounds like, this is referring to one of Palpatine's clone attempts and its deformed body. H.R. Geiger. Geiger is a Swiss surrealist artist whose art usually focuses on taking the form of the human body and blending it with machines in a weird organic metal hybrid. Also, the dude helped design the alien and aliens, so cool. Outlast. Outlast is a horror video game following a journalist who sneaks into a psychiatric hospital that's been overrun by the patients. The deformed bodies of some of the patients is even more disturbing because a lot of the game is seen through the player's night vision camcorder. The Evil Dead. 
This one kind of goes without saying. Evil Dead is one of the most iconic horror films of all time about a group of young people who stay in a cabin in the woods and accidentally summon an evil presence. The deadite possession of the human bodies, plus the disgusting stop-motion corpse disintegration, are at the top of the horror food chain. The Human Centipede Another obvious one, the human centipede is about an evil German scientist who kidnaps three tourists and surgically attaches them ass to mouth to form a, well, a human centipede. The Powerpuff Girls. The Powerpuff Girls has some surprisingly dark episodes. Since the girls were created in a lab by the professor, this kind of makes way for some body horror. Like an episode where the professor's old college roommate mass produces knockoff Powerpuff Girls that all have weird deformities. Or when the girls themselves try to make a fourth sister and end up making a monstrosity. The X-Files. Man, I don't even know where to start with the X-Files, but two of the most disturbing examples off the bat are the Fluke Men, which is a creature byproduct of radiation, and at this point is just an iconic image, and an episode which features a man who can regrow limbs. Undertale. Undertale is the beloved indie game featuring a human falling below the earth into a realm of monsters, and along the way he meets all kinds of disturbing humanoid characters. One particularly creepy character is Flowey, who transforms into the monstrosity Omega Flowey. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. This could be referring to the Oompa Loompas, but mostly Violet eating the three-course meal gum and turning into a giant blueberry. Okay, so that's all the tier one add-ons, let's just get straight to tier two. Ah, real monsters. Real Monsters is a kind of bizarre cartoon from the 90s following three young monsters as they learn to become scary. The whole show is really body horror as the monsters take strange humanoid forms, but Crumb always particularly skeeved me out. All Tomorrows All Tomorrows, a billion-year chronicle of the myriad species and mixed fortunes of man, is a 2006 work of speculative evolution written and illustrated by Turkish artist C.M. Kozman. It explores a hypothetical future path of human evolution set from the near future to a billion years from the present. It's an interesting science fiction book, and the illustrations are definitely creepy, especially since some of the future human species don't just evolve through natural means, but through genetic engineering, conducted by both humans themselves and by a mysterious and superior alien species called the Q. Angels of Paradiso, Bayonetta. These angels, which serve as antagonists in the Bayonetta series, have usually distorted humanoid bodies. Animal Man. Animal Man is a DC hero with the power to mimic the abilities of animals. On occasion, he'll actually change his physical form to exhibit these. Animation Memes This is referring to creepy horror animation memes that pop up all over YouTube. Aqua Teen Hunger Force Aqua Teen is centered around three living fast food items, so you already have some body horror there, but then add on several disturbing episodes, like one where in an attempt to get a girl he's stalking, Frylock melts her boyfriend in public. The guy attempts to put his corpse back together and tapes his brain on top of it. Jeez. There's also several episodes where characters are disfigured in different ways, like when a broadcast signal causes people's noses to bleed and heads to swell up, and when Carl puts on an alien-infected clown wig that starts mutating his body to look like a clown. Batman Beyond. There's actually several disturbing things in Batman Beyond, like when Bane's caretaker starts making venom batches that he eventually gets thrown into and bulges out in an unsettling way. Battle for Dream Island. This is a web series about a bunch of anthropomorphic objects competing to win an island. The show features a lot of death and hints at the characters having human anatomy. Bindi and the Ink Machine This is an indie game where you play as a retired animator who is invited back to his old studio by letter. When he gets there, he finds that the place is saturated with paranormal activity, including demons in the form of twisted cartoon characters. I feel like I gotta play this one, it sounds cool. Bioshock. I mean, what can I say about Bioshock? It's one of the best FPS games of the 2000s and has probably the most original world design as well. But enough gushing, the game has all kinds of twisted body horror, but the most obvious is the Splicers who are mentally and physically deformed by overusing Atom, which is a chemical substance that rewrites DNA. If that's not bad enough, some of the Splicer's distorted faces are due to a plastic surgeon that went completely insane and started fucking up people's faces as if it was Picasso-like art. Brothers Grimm Fairy Tales I've actually been planning on doing a full video on Grimm's fairy tales because they're way more crazy than I originally thought. As far as the body horror, probably one of the best examples is the original Cinderella story where, in order to fit their feet into the slipper, the evil stepsisters cut off part of their feet, like a toe or a heel, which actually fools the dumbass prince for a little bit until he sees the blood. Bug Snacks 
Bug Snacks is a cute and fun pet collection kind of game like Pokemon, except for the fact that the inhabitants of this island can morph their body by eating these creatures. It's really weird when you first help a villager turn his limbs into food items, like, what the hell? Cabin Fever. This is an Eli Roth movie, so it's got a ton of violence, gore, and murder. But it's basically about college friends who get a cabin in the woods and end up contracting a virus that starts to cause their bodies to rot. Gross. Candle Cove. This is a creepypasta about a group of people online who all claim to have watched the same children's show as kids and can't seem to find the show anywhere. The creepy part comes in when they recount some horrifying episodes and characters, like a skeleton named Skin Taker, for instance, who would take skin from children and wear it. Carrion. Carrion is a game where you play as a tentacle monster escaping a facility and killing everything along the way. Chowder. Chowder is another kid's cartoon that features all kinds of brutal body horror moments, like Chowder having a really gross lamprey mouth, which is a thing I didn't know how to name till this very moment, but just look it up. Or don't. I mean, I, I don't blame you. Coraline. Coraline showed up in my creepy stop motion video, and for good reason. It's about a girl who enters an alternate reality, and her parents are here, but they're all weird. Everything about them is disturbing, but particularly the way they move and their button eyes, which the mom in this world is trying to sew onto Coraline, so there's that. Danny Phantom. The fact that Danny is half ghost is probably enough, but there are a number of weird scenes in this show, including Bertrand transforming in this particularly freaky scene. David Firth. David Firth is a surreal animator and creator of Salad Fingers, although basically everything he does is disturbing in some way. I'd recommend watching Cream or the Sock series. Deceased. This is basically DC's version of Marvel Zombies, where the undead take over the world and the DC heroes have to stop them. Dead Space. One of the best horror games ever made in my opinion, Dead Space features brutal body altered undead. The most disturbing to me was always the fetuses that attack you, but then you just curb stomp those little shits. DeviantArt. This one's self-explanatory. Just go to the body horror tag in DeviantArt and have nightmares. Doki Doki Literature Club. This is a psychological horror game disguised as a dating sim. There's a lot to talk about with this one because of the genius way the game progresses, but as far as the body horror goes, there's a scene where you're forced to watch a character's corpse slowly decompose over a weekend, so yeah. Don't hug me, I'm scared. Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared was one of the first weird horror videos I remember going viral back in the day, and still holds up along with its sequels as very disturbing. Edward Scissorhands Edward Scissorhands is a Tim Burton movie about a humanoid in the form of a teenage boy who is created by a scientist. The scientist dies before completing him, however, leaving him unfinished, which results in him having to replace his hands with scissors. Elden Ring Grafting Elden Ring, like Bloodborne, embraces body horror with many of the enemies being grotesque abominations, but I believe this entry is referring to Godric the Grafted, a demigod and boss in Elden Ring whose creepy body has arms grafted all over it. When players get his health down to half, Godric will graft a dragon's head in place of his own arm. Elsa Gate. I never would have guessed this would show up on the list, uh, oh boy. But I get it, because when the Elsa Gate craziness was in full swing, the videos often featured really disturbing stuff, such as Elsa cutting off her own tongue. Emil Antonowski's death, Robocop. Emil is one of the villainous gang members in Robocop and meets his demise when accidentally driving into a toxic waste container, which melts and deforms his body in one of the most jarring 80s special effects I've ever seen. Eraserhead. This is one of the weirdest movies ever made, and so it's no surprise it made the list, probably because of this freaky baby creature. Event Horizon. One of the unsung sci-fi horrors of the 90s, the premise of Event Horizon is that a spaceship opens up a portal to hell in space. It's a particularly brutal movie with all kinds of disturbing bodily harm happening to, well, everyone. Fallout, The Master. The Master of Super Mutants, or The Master, is a mutant character in Fallout. He was a normal human before falling into a vat of toxic waste, which horrifically transformed him into this thing. Ugh. Friday Night Funkin' Mods. Friday Night Funkin' is a rhythm game, and I guess there's mods for it where the characters' bodies are brutalized or mutilated, or uh, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, what the hell? Get Out. It's almost impossible to talk about this one without spoilers, but brain swap, I'll just say that. Gore Field. Gore Field is a horror version of Garfield originating from the I'm Sorry John Reddit page, and often takes highly disturbing shapes in order to stalk his victims. Gumball Tampers with His DNA. In The Amazing World of Gumball, there's a disturbing scene where Gumball starts messing with his own DNA, which alters his body in various ways, and inevitably he becomes a mass deformed being. Hannibal. I mean, it's a show about Hannibal Lecter. What do you expect? 
Anyway, there's a bunch of human artwork. Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters. This was a dark take on Hansel and Gretel where they grew up to become witch hunters and apparently there is a ton of brutal witch deaths. Also, I guess a man gets his arms and legs ripped off by ropes. Happy Tree Friends. Happy Tree Friends is a web series where cute, fuzzy forest critters murder and mutilate each other in various ways. Has Been Hotel. Another animated web series, Has Been Hotel, follows a demon as she attempts to rehabilitate people in hell as a way to avoid the animal purge where angels come down and kill everybody. Needless to say, it's full of disturbing characters and creatures. Hellraiser. Let's ignore the Hulu remake for now and talk about the original film. Also, I know a lot of these entries came from books or they have other forms of media, but I'm going off the iceberg, which is color coded. So for instance, Hellraiser is purple, labeling it as a film. Just wanted to clear that up. Anyway, the film is a bit complicated, but essentially there's a puzzle box that's said to open the gateway to a world of pleasure. This is actually hell, where creatures known as Cenobites, which all are their own examples of body horror, torture people. This isn't a great summary, but you get the idea. Plus, I'd like to do a full explanation video on the Hellraiser series the same way I did with Chucky. Hotline Miami Hallucinations. This is in reference to the final level of Hotline Miami 2 titled Apocalypse, where the character is overdosing on drugs and hallucinates demons. Inscription. Inscription is a horror card-based game with a spooky atmosphere and creepy-looking competitors. However, a lot of the body horror comes from the fact that you can choose to self-mutilate yourself in order to gain an advantage. For instance, you can poke your own eye out. After the match, you can then choose which eyeball you want to have as a replacement. Inside Jabu Jabu's Belly. This is referring to the part of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time where Link must enter the belly of a great whale in order to rescue the Zora princess and remove the evil inside. Invader Zim. Zim has a lot of just weird body stuff like skin suits, but the darkest episode is probably the Halloween special of Spooky Doom, which features the nightmare realm with creatures of twisted and deformed body shapes. Invincible. The popular animated superhero show takes some really dark turns and is just chock full of brutal kills. Basically imagine if you saw Superman just ragefully killing people in absolutely devastating ways. Jason Goes to Hell. Jason Goes to Hell is one of the strangest of the Friday the 13th series. The film opens with Jason being blown up by the military and then coming back from hell as a parasite that possesses people's bodies and uses them to kill. Jeff the Killer. Jeff the Killer is one of the most iconic creepypastas of all time about a teen who's set on fire by bullies which disfigures his face and drives him mad so then he starts killing people. Jolanda Transforms. I think this is referring to Valkyrie profile Lineth. When Princess Jolanda, or Jolanda, is unknowingly given a ghoul powder which transforms her into a ghoul, and despite the outdated graphics, or maybe because of them, this scene is still really creepy. Genova, Final Fantasy VII. Genova is an extraterrestrial life form that lands on the planet. It takes many forms throughout the game, usually with twisted humanoid biology, but there's always this classic blue image of her that I remember. Junji Ito. Junji Ito is probably one of the most well-known manga horror writers and is probably one of the best horror writers of this generation, period. His work includes a plethora of body horror from Uzumaki, which features students turning into slugs, to The Hanging Balloons, which has people being killed by giant versions of their own heads. Yeah, he's weird and great. Large Marge. Large Marge is a character from Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I actually mentioned her way back in my creepy stop motion video, but basically she's a ghost and after picking up Pee Wee as a hitchhiker, she transforms her face to scare the shit out of him along with thousands of kids who watch this movie. Little Nightmares. Little Nightmares might be my favorite indie title of the last decade because it has such a unique style to it. The setting feels like a mix of Tim Burton and Hayao Miyazaki, but the real art comes in the character designs. Each section of the game has you go up against a new box which is almost always a nightmarish, deformed humanoid. Lumpy Touch. Lumpy Touch is a YouTube animator who uses pixel art to make really disturbing and funny animations that almost always feature horror versions of pop culture characters like Garfield or Walter White. Man After Man. This is similar to All Tomorrows in the fact that it's a book on speculative evolution. Once again, taking a stab at what weird evolutionary forms we might take with some creepy results. Manhunt. Manhunt is a messed up game that actually rewards you the more brutal your kills are. Besides all the violent murders, there's a boss named Pigsy who is a deranged psychopath that wears a pig's head and chases you with a chainsaw. I've never played the game, but I really have to because it seems like a horror fan's treat. Marvel Zombies. Zombies infect the Marvel Universe starting with the Avengers and soon super beings begin to eat the entire world population. There's a a ton of violent battles like when a living Magneto uses Zombie Cap's shield to cut part of his head off. The thing that's most disturbing about Marvel Zombies is that once they fed on flesh, they gain back
back their sanity for a short period of time and have to lament over what they've done. Peter Parker ate Aunt May, for instance. Also, their bodies are decaying, and when Hulk is done feeding, he turns back into Banner, but his stomach is too small, so the body parts that Hulk ate tear out of his stomach. It's disgusting, man. Meat Canyon. Meat Canyon is probably one of my favorite current YouTube animators. He's known for his brutal caricatures and parody. These are often well-known characters from kids shows or more lighthearted media, except he always puts a dark twist turning them into killers, demons, or otherwise freaky ass creatures. Honestly, it's A-plus content. Midsummer, Another one that I don't want to spoil, but there are just some really disturbing scenes in this movie involving ritualistic murder. Old. The premise of Old is that a family vacations on an island but suddenly begin to rapidly age, which is highly disturbing. Over the Garden Wall Over the Garden Wall follows two half-brothers as they travel through a forest to find their way home, all the while being chased by Eldritch-style horror creatures. Pam Tree Pam Tree is one of those weird 3D animation YouTube channels that makes videos with popular children's show characters, except that they're always distorted and doing disturbing stuff. You know, that kind of channel. Pan's Labyrinth Pan's Labyrinth is about a girl during the Spanish Revolution who crosses between the real world and the underworld interacting with different creatures, some of who are absolute nightmare fuel. Phineas and Ferb. Like a lot of the other cartoons on this list, Phineas and Ferb has its moments of light body horror, like when Candace accidentally melts herself down into a liquid, which a bird thrashes around in, splitting her into multiple forms. Photoshop Disasters. It's exactly how it sounds. Disturbing Photoshop fails that make it look like people in the photos are missing limbs, have extra limbs, or are otherwise disfigured. Pibby. Pibby is a proof of concept short that ran on Adult Swim. It starts as just an educational children's show until a strange black liquid consumes the world. Later, Pibby discovers other worlds which are actually other TV shows that are being consumed by the liquid turning iconic cartoons into nightmares. This is a movie about a family being haunted by ghosts and all kinds of crazy shit happens in this movie. As far as body horror goes, there's a scene where a man starts tearing his face off in a crazy hallucination and the chunks of his face build up in the sink. It's, it's really gross. Possessor. Possessor is a 2020 psychological thriller about a company that uses brain implants to use people's bodies in order to assassinate targets. Postal 1 slash Redux load screens. These loading screens often feature mutilated or disfigured humans, and they're just really creepy. Postal brain damaged. Brain Damage, the retro shooter take on the Postal series, all takes place in the dude's damaged brain. This leads to some off-putting enemy types. Pringles Funny Boy Commercial The Pringles Funny Boy Commercial, also known as the Couch Commercial, features a little boy and his sister goofing off with Pringles. The only thing is, their heads are a strange stop-motion CGI effect, and it's really unsettling. Project Graham. Project Graham is one of the strangest PSAs ever. It's all under the premise that our bodies are not designed to survive car crashes. But what if they were? An artist designed what someone might look like who did evolve to withstand car wrecks, and the results are... Ugh. I went into depth on this in my disturbing PSA video if you want to check that out. Reanimator. One of my favorite 80s horror movies for sure, Reanimator is about a college student, Herbert West, who manages to take a serum to bring the dead to life starting with a cat. It's typical zombie stuff, although we can't forget that classic zombie head with bat wings scene. Robot Chicken. As you can tell by this list already, stop motion really lends itself to body horror, and so it's no surprise despite being a comedy show that Robot Chicken pulls off some disturbing stuff. One good example is a bit where Helga from Hey Arnold completes her Arnold shrine by cutting off his head and wearing it like a mask. Ruins. I believe this is referring to the novel about tourists who end up trapped on a vine-covered hill. If they leave the hill, tribe members will kill them, but the vines on the hill are acidic and feed on flesh. As they try to survive, the group takes major bodily harm in various ways, including one person's leg being eaten down to the bone by the vines. Salad Fingers Salad Fingers is David Firth's most popular series and is one of the earliest of this kind of comedy horror on YouTube. There's too much body horror to count, but one of my favorites is when he makes himself a little brother by sewing flesh onto a doll. Samurai Jack In the Jack Tales episode, Jack encounters a seemingly human family who turn out to be metal-eating robots. The robots, in a fit of hunger, rip each other to shreds, and the insides of the robots look like human flesh. Saw. This one's obvious, but the Saw movies are all based around people having to mutilate their own bodies in order to survive. Scary stories to tell in the dark. This is probably referring to the scene in the movie where a character starts turning into a scarecrow, which is really cool. SCP Foundation. The SCP Foundation is a whole bag of worms. If you don't know what it is, just go to the website and start exploring, but there are multiple SCPs with disturbing body horror elements. Shrek's Baby Nightmare. This is referring to a scene in Shrek the Third where Shrek has a nightmare that 
dozens of babies start attacking him. Uh, it's just really creepy. Slenderman. Slenderman's deserted body is part of what makes him so disturbing. Species. Species follows a human-alien hybrid attempting to mate with more humans and often killing them in a brutal fashion. She looks human but sometimes turns into her alien form, which is pretty ugly. Steven Universe and Future Steven Universe, like a lot of these other shows, features several strange abominations. Teeth for Two, Cat Dog In this episode, Cat Dog realizes at a dentist appointment that whatever one of them does to their teeth affects the other. So Cat tries to make sure Dog's teeth stay clean, and I'm pretty sure this made the list because of one particular scene. Cat attempts to brush Dog's teeth while he's sleeping, and when he can't manage to do it normally, he turns himself inside out so that he can crawl from inside of their body out of Dog's mouth and... Holy shit, that's disturbing. Blob. The 1988 Blob in particular has some really creepy body horror stuff thanks to the practical effects used when someone's consumed by the Blob. Like the phone booth scene, for instance. The Cabin in the Woods. This is a really cool take on a horror movie, and I won't spoil much, but there are a lot of kills and some really disturbing creatures as well. The Cuphead Show. The fact that the characters are living cups, I guess. The Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack. Out of all the kids shows on this list, this might be the most chock full of creepy stuff. One scene that stands out to me is when there's this randomly, this creepy stop motion character out of nowhere. It's a 2D show, um, and that just always looks freaky. The Psychiatrist Transformation, Katana Zero. Katana Zero is a stylish action platformer indie game. In the game, the psychiatrist assigns missions to Zero. However, if you take every opportunity to make him angry, you can unlock a hidden boss fight with him. Once you've damaged him enough, he transforms into, well, basically a lump of flesh with multiple eyes and little fetuses crawling out of him. Not to mention his syringe tentacle. The Residents Music Videos. This is a series of bizarre artistic music videos that I would not watch late at night. Most of the videos feature deformed humanoids or monsters, and everything is just off in really weird ways. This one's just hard to explain. I suggest you just go watch it on YouTube. There's a whole playlist. The Spectacular Spider-Man, Connor Turns Into the Lizard. This one speaks for itself, but Connor turning into a lizard in this series is particularly more unsettling than some of the other cartoon adaptions. The Watersons turn into model citizens. This is referring to an episode of The Amazing World of Gumball where the Watterson family transforms into picturesque looking humans through a brutally disturbing process. Thunder's Death, Big Trouble in Little China. Thunder is essentially a mini boss in Big Trouble in Little China who, through some strange technique, blows himself up. His body takes a puffed up form that's both comical and off putting. Torchwood, Miracle Day. In this Torchwood series, everyone in the world suddenly can't die. In one particularly creepy scene, they show a corpse of a man that was basically at the center of an explosion. His body is completely mutilated, and yet he seems to be alive. They then cut off his head to see what'll happen, and sure enough, his eyes still open. Trevor Henderson Trevor Henderson is an artist who makes his art look like found footage with distorted creatures in them. I would recommend looking into all of his stuff because it's really cool. Ultra Kill Ultra Kill is a shooter where you play as a robot that's fuel source is blood. Problem is, humans have been wiped out, so the next logical step is to descend into hell, of course. It being hell, there are all kinds of messed up enemies. Unikitty In one episode of Unikitty, Hawkadile is turned into a freak with the transformation and all that. Username 666 Username 666 is a video pasta that basically takes you down the unfortunate rabbit hole of someone searching the username 666 on YouTube. As a user goes deeper into this channel, more and more disturbing imagery appears, often of humanoid beings. Venom. Since Venom is a symbiote, it requires a living host to survive. In Venom's case, he's latched onto Eddie Brock, which is body horror enough to work for this list. Weird Al Yankovic, fat. This is obviously a parody of Michael Jackson's mega hit, although in this music video, Weird Al transforms into an extremely obese person, and the fat suit and makeup definitely makes me uncomfortable. What If. What If features a few disturbing sequences, but this is probably referring to the Zombies episode or Doctor Strange turning evil. Who Framed Roger Rabbit There's an iconic scene in Who Framed Roger Rabbit where it's revealed that the main bad guy, Judge Doom, is actually a toon, and the transformation scene is just pure nightmare fuel, especially since it starts off with him being smashed by a steamroller. Yume Nikki Okay, and last but not least, Yume Nikki is a freeware game that released in 2004 and follows a girl exploring her dreams. The thing is, there are extremely disturbing characters in these dreams. Agamemnon Counterpart This is a YouTube video of what looks like an animated kids show being highly distorted and a character screaming in a particularly creepy way. Agony 
Agony is a first-person video game that takes place in hell, and really the whole game is body horror. Even the environments are made of human flesh, and besides demons, there are plenty of deformed people and creatures throughout with a lot of torture too. Andy Wilson 92 Andy Wilson 92 is a YouTube animator who makes really bizarre 3D animated videos, often featuring really disturbing looking people and characters. Animorphs Animorphs was a series of books in the late 90s and into the 2000s that featured kids who gained the ability to morph into animals. There was also a TV show adaption. Arcane Arcane is a Netflix show based in League of Legends. In the first episode, Silco is introduced obscured in shadows of his hideout and then nonchalantly injecting something into his eye socket. He then turns around and you can see his left eye glowing in a menacing orange. When he emerges from the shadows, we're giving a healthy dose of body horror as the left side of his face is revealed to be blackened and scarred, and his left eye being completely black, save for a deformed orange iris. Ben Wheel Henry Eats Ben Wheel is another YouTube animator, and Henry Eats is a rather creepy video that everyone seems to stumble upon when you're on the weird side of YouTube. It features a zombie looking man and several other creatures. It's hard to explain exactly what you're watching, so you should just go check it out for yourself. But the characters are good examples of body horror in and of themselves. Blaster Master Zero 2 Eve's Mutation Blaster Master Zero is a platforming game, and Eve's Mutation is referring to the android girl, Eve, who is infected by a mutant overlord and in the second game it begins to mutate her body. Bowsette Transformation This is of course a fan-made comic turned YouTube animation of Bowser stealing Peach's crown and transforming into Bowsette in a particularly grotesque way. Brian's Mushroom Nightmare Scene This is referring to a scene in Family Guy where Brian is tripping on mushrooms and it really is one body horror situation into the next. Starting with Stewie transforming into a furry creature, then a man whose head attaches to his body using tentacles, Peter being burned alive on a spit, hundreds of bees then sting Brian who swells up and explodes, and a bunch of little Brians pop out and run away. That's just like the first half. Charlie the Unicorn One of the OG YouTube viral hits, Charlie the Unicorn is about a unicorn, Charlie, trying to chill out when two other unicorns bug the shit out of him until he joins them on a journey that leads Charlie into a forest and eventually a cave where he is knocked out and wakes up with his kidney stolen. Chicken Nugget Chicken Nugget is a series of short videos featuring cute little critters. It's mostly quick jokes, but there are some comedy horror moments that classify as body horror when the characters transform or do unnatural things with their bodies. Chubby Emu This is a disturbing YouTube channel that features videos explaining what happens to people's bodies after various horrible things happen to them. For instance, a wife puts bleach in her husband's coffee, here's what happened to his stomach. Cool 3D World This is yet another bizarre animation channel and actually one of my favorites from the weird side of YouTube. I don't even know how to explain these videos, but they always feature severely deformed looking humans or creatures doing very bizarre stuff and throw in some cringy body horror like in the video Nail Cut. But my personal favorite video is A Life Well Lived. Corridor Corridor is a YouTube channel run by multiple people known for their gorgeous visual effects. This entry refers mostly to The Glitch, a short film they made where video game characters experience glitches and we see Mario's head distorting in a very creepy manner. Cruelty Squad So Cruelty Squad is its own rabbit hole and there's a lot to get into about the game but for the sake of this video the game takes place in a literal world of garbage and features all kinds of humanoid abominations and mutants. Cry of Fear Cry of Fear was originally a Half-Life mod before being released as a full game. The game features many really disturbing enemy types that are mostly deformed humans. One enemy, the Drowned, has a baby jump out of its stomach and attack you if you get too close. There's also the Human Flower, which is… ugh. Crypt TV Crypt TV is an entertainment company co-founded by horror icon Eli Roth and mostly creates horror short films with a focus on monsters, including some very popular internet horror creatures like Luxy. Dolly generated images. AI generated images have been cropping up more and more lately and there's no slacking in the horror department as people have oftentimes accidentally made horror monstrosities using Dolly and other AI image creators. I actually made a whole video about Loeb, an AI created cryptid who's almost always associated with body horror. Death Battle This is a web series that pits two opponents together in a battle to the death. The contenders are often fictional and pop culture characters from varying mediums. The thing is the actual deaths are completely horrific and this is particularly interesting because a lot of the characters are from PG content. Don Hertzfield's Couch Gag 
This is a Simpsons house gag where Homer moves forward through time using a TV remote, which manipulates his body in weird ways, and finally he morphs into a black and white squid-like creature, along with the rest of the family who have changed into other strange creatures. Drake's Sprite Commercial This is a weird Sprite commercial where Drake is in the studio and drinks a Sprite, which suddenly segments his skin away from his body and reveals his mechanical insides. I mean, what the hell? Drath Possession, Daughter of the Lilies I haven't read this comic, but from what I understand, in this fantasy world, the Drath are creatures that can merge with living beings and possess them, and the results can be really freaky, like this rat for instance. Drunk Drunk is a music video by the Living Tombstone featuring a man getting, well, drunk. And as he does this, the character's body begins randomly deforming in different ways, and not to mention the strange laughing faces in the background. Dusk Dusk is a retro-inspired FPS in the same vein as Doom, where the player is captured and nearly killed by a cult before fighting his way out. The game features a lot of really messed up enemy types from mutilated goats and dogs, reanimated corpses, and probably the most disturbing is the cowgirl, whose cowboy hat is grafted to her skull, as well as all her limbs replaced with weapons. Die Fantasy Die Fantasy is an animated music video that starts off real cool and shows a couple of friends sneaking into the school pool for a midnight dip, when halfway through the video shit gets really weird. A couple starts making out, and this involves some heavy petting, when before you know it, the guy's arm transforms into a giant eel-like creature that has basically impaled his girlfriend through her snatch. Yeah, and that's just the start of it. Next, the girl turns into an alligator-like abomination that bites a guy's junk off. Seriously, it, ju it just gets crazier from there, so just go check it out. 1,000 Ways to Die this was a Spike TV show that took actual stories of people dying in different ways and then recreated the scenarios with actors. It's kind of a goofy show, but interesting, and there are some cringeworthy and disturbing deaths for sure. Luckily, the show has a nightmare retardant in the form of comedic style and over-the-top acting. YouTube Poop Gautye knows somebody that he used. This is a YouTube poop video where the somebody that I used to know video is severely edited so that the lyrics are reorganized to say things like, now and then I think of you naked, which might be the least disturbing thing in the video, and the visuals are edited so that the dude constantly has strange stuff happening to his body. My personal favorite is when they add a bunch of nipples to him. Ace's High Art, Disco Elysium. Disco Elysium is an isometric RPG that has a player solving a case as a detective, but this entry is specifically about a thought, which to my understanding is kind of like a skill in the game, that each have unique art, and this skill, being Ace's High, has a particularly disturbing image which seems to be that of a melting, stretched out humanoid surrounded by other strange deformed beings. Weird. Every 90s commercial ever. Every 90s commercial ever is a YouTube video that starts off seeming like a typical 90s commercial parody with a Capri Sun-like drink, and of course some weird visual effects where the kids drink the stuff and then they turn into a silver liquid that can fly through the air. But this video takes one of the hardest left turns in YouTube history when the kids in liquid form show up to the park and turn back human, only their bodies have merged together into an extremely disturbing abomination that starts killing the other kids. It's... it's awesome. Failed Clones, Ed's World. Ed's World is a British web series about a group of young adults getting into constant shenanigans, and it started off on Newgrounds, but is basically everywhere now. I just wanted to mention Newgrounds because I freaking love that site. Anyway, in one episode, the gang gets clones made from them, and they all have weird defects. Farscape, a clockwork Nabari. In this episode of the weird-ass sci-fi show Farscape, aliens use a process they call mind cleansing, which looks pretty similar to A Clockwork Orange, hence the title. Basically, they stretch the person's eyelids open and implant the drug behind their eyes in order to stop them from certain impulses. Sorry to any Farscape fans if I messed that up. Fur Affinity Fur Affinity is the furry fandom's largest online community focusing on the promotion of art, music, and stories. Technically, furries can be considered body horror in and of itself, but the furry fandom definitely includes lots of weird gore porn as well. I didn't expect this iceberg to take me to the official wiki of furries, but here we are. Galaxy Quest Galaxy Quest is a Star Trek parody starring Tim Allen that's considered by some to be the best Star Trek movie ever made. This is referring to the scene where they need to beam up the captain but haven't quite gotten the teleporter to work. They test it out on a pig lizard, and it does teleport it, but it also appears inside out and explodes. Generator Rex This is a Cartoon Network show where the whole plot revolves around any living creature on Earth turning into monsters at random due to being infected by a global contamination of nanomachines. 
So basically anyone could have their own little body horror nightmare at any time. Golden Light. This is yet another video game with just fucked up disfigured enemies. It's also another game that sounds absolutely fascinating and I definitely want to play it. Hamburger Lady. This is a song where the lyrics had been taken from a letter a doctor wrote about a patient who was so badly burned she looked like hamburger meat, which is where she got the nickname. So yeah, easy listening. Harvester. Harvester is a 90s point and click adventure game where a teenage kid wakes up in a strange town having no idea how he got there. The town is full of strange people who all have a messed up sense of morality and it's one of those things where it could be a whole video in and of itself but there are some extremely unsettling scenes in this. Most notably an infant's eyeballs popping out and a woman being eaten alive by her own children which she seems to not be bothered by. Okay, at this point I'm thinking of doing a live stream playing this game because it just sounds completely bonkos. Hell on Kitty. This is a strange animated video showcasing the day that Hello Kitty realized she has no mouth. Homer's face couch gag. This is a really weird Simpsons couch gag where Homer's just staring at the camera as his face is distorted in various ways. It's more cool than disturbing in my opinion because the art style is really interesting. Homestar Runner. Homestar Runner is a 2000s web series that was pretty popular back in the day. In one tune, if you choose the Akira option, a stickman's arms turn into a grotesque tentacle. How to get ahead in advertising. This is a really weird British dark comedy about an ad exec who has a meltdown and shortly after develops a boil on his shoulder that begins to talk to him. It eventually grows into a second head. How the hell have I not heard of this? This is what I love about icebergs. Imagine Dome. I believe this is referring to a no longer existing YouTube series that features some highly creepy videos from what appear to be a mentally unstable person. The videos vary to some degree, but the most disturbing are the ones featuring a baby's head spinning around its body and then a video of Jesus Christ doing the same thing. Inside 2016. Inside is a platformer game where a boy makes his way through several environments while avoiding capture. It's a very vague story as there's no exposition or dialogue, but I'm sure this made the list based on the ending of the game, so spoilers ahead, but eventually the boy makes his way to a chamber where scientists are studying a strange blob-like creature that's made up of what appears to be human bodies. Azumi Kato. Azumi Kato is an artist known for making surreal depictions of humans who are always very strange looking. Jimmy Neutron Happy Family Happy Hour. The weird side of YouTube strikes again and this is a classic. It features Jimmy Neutron and his dad ordering pizza after Jimmy's dad kills his mom. It's crudely animated and just really strange but that's what makes it funny. Joe Blandemer. Joe Blandemer is an animator specializing in claymation and his videos often feature horror elements and gore. One video titled The Vacuum is simply a man vacuuming his own face off. Joker's Face I think this one is simply meaning Joker's face from the Batman comics. I'd like to particularly point to Death in the Family where Joker cuts off his own face and then crudely staples it back on. Just Shapes and Beats Destroyed just Shapes and Beats is an action rhythm video game that consists of multiple levels based around individual tracks by independent artists in dubstep, trap music, and chiptune genres. Players control one small shape, surviving via dodging a variety of attacks such as huge beams, bouncing waves, snake-like spirals, and pulsating shapes. The attacks appear and move in rhythm to the music, with difficulty increasing the farther the players progress. Destroyed is referring to the final boss of the game, a floating head that gets more and more severely damaged as the battle goes on. Kane Pixels, The Backrooms. This is the Backrooms video that popped off last year and just blew up the Backrooms. The video is really amazing and just go watch it if you haven't, but it does feature a creature known in the Backrooms as Entity 6 or a Dolor. These creatures are described as lacking major sensory organs. The substance that their skin is composed of is in a constant state of toggling from liquid to solid. Clay World. I'm so glad this made the list. I mentioned Newgrounds earlier and when it comes to fond Newgrounds memories, Clay World is at the top of the heap. Clay World was created by Robert Benfer, who is the same guy who made Llamas with Hats, among other popular animated series, but Clay World was the OG. Anyway, the show featured clay people with no discernible features in comedic situations that often became violent with plenty of blood and gore. Lee Hardcastle. Another animator specializing in stop motion, Lee Hardcastle has several really disturbing videos. One that stands out is called Adult Babies, which features strange rat-like creatures. Leprechaun. Oh boy, do I love Leprechaun. It's a series of movies that ask the question, hey, what if Leprechauns were actually evil and would kill people in brutal ways in order to get their gold? The series features a lot of gore, like in Leprechaun 4 in space, where the Leprechaun jumps out of a guy's penis. No, seriously, look it up. 
But focusing on the first film, one of the characters eats a piece of the leprechaun's gold and he tries to rip it out of the guy's stomach before being melted into green grossness. Also, I just gotta mention that they made a recent sequel to this movie that starts with the leprechaun crawling out of the guy's stomach with the gold piece and it's actually the same actor from the original. That's pretty awesome. Lisa. This game features several examples of body horror, like the Joy Mutants, who were humans who took too much of a drug called Joy and became abominations. Particularly one named Peter, whose limbs have stretched out like a spider. Life 7, Garfield, His Nine Lives. Man, this is a weird one. So at some point this comic came out where Garfield is depicted in nine different stories with vastly different animation styles that take a more serious tone than the typical lovable Garfield. In the seventh life, Garfield is being experimented on in a military research facility where he manages to escape and by the end of the video he transforms into a dog. It's really weird, man. Llamas with hats. Robert Binford's colossal YouTube sensation features two llamas wearing hats in increasingly distressful situations as one llama, Carl, is basically a psychopath murderer. In the very first episode, he eats a man's arms off, for instance. Mad. Mad was a robot chicken-like show on Cartoon Network that often parodies celebrities and current pop culture. I think it's on the list because the way the characters are animated is pretty freaky. Mad Rat Dead Mad Rat Dead is a rhythm game where you play as a rat who's seeking revenge on his human scientist owner after coming back from the dead Frankenstein style. Made in Abyss This manga is apparently chock full of disturbing moments as the characters ascend into the titular abyss. At one point a character gets turned into a mindless blob creature, and I guess the main character's mother discovered a device where if you put meat inside of it, the meat comes back to life. It doesn't matter what kind of meat it is, it could be a chicken nugget and it will suddenly come back to life. So the idea is that the main character was born a dead fetus, and that the mother put her into this device to live. I'm not sure if that last part is just a fan theory or actually in the manga, but my god, that's disturbing. Madness Combat Madness Combat is another Flash series following the character Hank in his endeavors in killing his foes. The show features brutal and excessive blood and gore. Magic the Gathering Magic cards feature amazing artwork from a plethora of artists, and its dark world features a lot of creepy and off-putting artwork, including plenty of flesh-garbled body horror. Man Spider I might be wrong on this, but I believe this is referring to the Spider-Man storyline where Peter actually starts to transform into a giant man-spider hybrid. Marble Hornets So as far as I understand, Marble Hornets is a web series that features a Slenderman-like entity known as The Operator. Marilyn Manson ripping his own chest open, Clone High. Wow, so, okay, there's an episode of this cartoon called Clone High where Marilyn Manson sings a song about the importance of the food pyramid and does indeed rip his own chest open. This is one of those things where I wonder if I've skipped into an alternate timeline. I mean, why does this exist? But then again, they've made Wendy's Frosty into a cereal, so what do I know? Marvel Zombies The Spoof Trailer So there's a spoof trailer for Marvel Zombies that features Aunt May all eaten up and stuff. Meet Arnold. This is like the chubby emu channel I mentioned earlier, except in a totally goofy tone. Each video features the character Arnold as he deals with horrible effects happening to his body, all just to satisfy people's morbid curiosity. Momo. I'm sure you've seen images of Momo floating around the internet before and might recall the controversy when her disturbing face kept showing up on kids' YouTube and pissing parents off. Monster Hunter Movie. There are some aspects of the Monster Hunter movie that straight up play like a horror movie, like when one character, Link, is found alive after an attack in a cave that's also a Nurskrilla nest, eh, I'm sure I pronounced that wrong, though he can barely move and one of his arms doesn't work. As they get near the exit of the cave, he complains of extreme pain. Finally, he pulls his shirt off to discover the left side of his chest is covered in egg sacs, at which point they start hatching. Mr. Incredible Becoming Uncanny Meme I regret accepting this entry. Not entirely sure why Dripcat regrets this entry, other than it's so popular at the moment and a meme, but you've probably seen it. It starts with Mr. Incredible looking fairly normal, and each new level he's been distorted more and more. Mr. Pickles Mr. Pickles is about a family and their beloved dog, Mr. Pickles, who is actually a satanic murderer who won't stop mutilating his victims. My Friend Pedro, Final Boss My Friend Pedro is a fast-paced side-scrolling shoot-em-up where the player traverses several themed levels while shooting everything that moves, all at the behest of a talking banana named Pedro. The final boss of the game, and spoilers here, is Pedro himself. After a certain point in the battle, Pedro transforms and his peel comes down, revealing a very unsettling-looking banana. Omega Mart Omega Mart is an ARG, or alternate reality game, that takes the form of an actual supermarket. It's an actual place in Area 15 Nevada where you can pay to explore Omega Mart and the hidden areas and rooms inside. 
This door basically feels like it's from a slightly altered dimension or that aliens are trying to recreate a supermarket just inaccurately. Products such as mammoth chunks, vegan goat pus, and who told you this was butter do not eat are on display. There's an eerie vibe to the whole thing and the commercials are where it really hits the body horror category. Maybe I'll do a whole video on this one, it's pretty cool. Parasite Eve. I actually think I covered the film adaption of Parasite Eve on my J-Horror Iceberg series, but anyway, this is a video game where the premise is that the main villain is trying to destroy the human race by means of spontaneous human combustion. The game features many twisted abominations, especially the boss fights. Pokemon Lost Silver. This is referring to a creepypasta where an anonymous person supposedly finds a Pokemon Silver cartridge with a save file already on the game. The game world is completely altered and has very disturbing elements to it. You can just read the pasta because it's really interesting, but it does feature some very disturbing moments involving Pokemon who actually die in this game as opposed to being knocked out. Princess Mononoke. This is labeled as Princess Momoke on the iceberg, and at first I thought, Oh, someone must have edited Momo into Princess Mononoke, but I actually think this is a typo as it's just referring to the film itself. It's probably my favorite Hayao Miyazaki film, and I think sometimes it gets overshadowed by Spirited Away and Howl's Moving Castle. But anyway, it's about a prince whose arm is cursed after being bit by a demon, and he has to leave his village to seek a cure. Along the way, he gets mixed up in the ultimate clash between man, machine, and nature. The body horror comes in here with the fact that Prince Ashitaka's cursed arm sometimes has creepy looking spasms that grant him superhuman strength. On top of that, you have the forest spirit, a majestic creature whose head gets blown off, causing it to mutate into a massive demonic blob creature. You should check it out. Raka Raka. Raka Raka is a YouTube channel that usually features over-the-top videos with gratuitous violence. Their most popular series features a homicidal version of Ronald McDonald that brutalizes his victims. There's even a video where he kills kids. If you're into completely irreverent and over-the-top humor, maybe this channel's for you. Ren and Stimpy Adult Party Cartoon. Ren and Stimpy is a whole mess of body horror just because of the nature of the art style. Adult Party Cartoon was the mature version of Ren and Stimpy that actually was labeled as one of the worst cartoons of all time. There's violence, of course, but one great example of pure nightmare fuel is when Stimpy has sex with a duck and then starts laying eggs that hatch half-cat, half-duck hybrids. I mean, what the hell? Scanners is a classic David Cronenberg movie about scanners, people who have telepathic and telekinetic abilities, and the most famous scene from the movie is when a man's head is exploded using psychic ability. It's worth it just for that, honestly. Scientifically Accurate Cat Dog. This is an animated YouTube short of a scientist stitching together a cat and dog in a completely grotesque manner with guts and gore, and it's just plain gross. Scorn. Scorn is a recently released first person horror game set in a world based on the artwork of H.R. Geiger or Giger, I'm, I'm never sure if I'm pronouncing that right, and featuring a mess of disgusting organic machine-based characters, weapons, and settings. Seinfeld's Pit Stains. Seinfeld Pit Stains is a YouTube animator and actually the guy who brought us Jimmy Neutron Happy Family Happy Hour, among other really weird videos. Like one titled Creation, for instance, where a normal human body with Carl Weezer's head has a screwdriver come out of its groin. Okay, moving on. Sekiro Soul Removal. This is referring to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice and a specific enemy called Simply Headless, who is body horror within itself, but then he does this to you. Slither. Slither is a film about a small alien parasite that turns people into undead mutant monstrosities, starting with a businessman named Grant, who is slowly transforming. Society. Society is a movie about a young man who doesn't fit in with his high society family and suspects something to be amiss about them. Well, his suspicions are true because, spoiler alert, they end up being another species and at a well-to-do party the wealthy guests strip down to their underwear and begin what they call shunting, which is physically deforming and melding with each other, as they suck the nutrients out of a dude's body and start absorbing him. Son of the Mask. Considered by many to be the worst sequel of all time, Son of the Mask is based on the premise that the main character wears the mask of Loki and then has sex with his wife, so the baby comes out with weird cartoon-like powers. It's on the list because of some of the insane effects, especially involving the baby. Splice. Splice is about two genetic engineers who successfully splice the DNA of multiple animals in order to create a new humanoid species. Street Sharks Street Sharks is a 90s cartoon about four human brothers whose DNA is mixed with sharks turning them into half-shark, half-man hybrid monstrosities. Their main antagonist, Dr. Luther Paradigm, is part piranha as well. Super Jail. Super Jail is an adult swim cartoon based on a jail and its inmates, often featuring a lot of horror elements like a grotesque alien virus infecting the inmates or Ash, a burn victim, with Freddy Krueger-like skin and webbed hands. Surreal Entertainment. 
Surreal Entertainment is a YouTube animator who produces eccentric, meme-style animated videos. The animations typically involve the characters moving in impossible ways, stretching limbs beyond natural limits, and having deadpan robotic voices. Sweet Home, Game and Movie. Another movie mentioned in my J-Horror Iceberg, Sweet Home is a film and later game adaption telling the story of filmmakers entering an old mansion and encountering nightmarish situations. The game actually directly inspired Resident Evil and laid the groundwork for many other games. There's a particularly disturbing scene in the film where an old man starts melting, so that's cool. Tetsuo the Iron Man. Yet another film from the J-Horror Iceberg. Okay, I promise I'll shut up about that. But Tetsuo is about a man slowly becoming part machine in a really disturbing fashion and then fighting another metal abomination. After the battle, they fuse together into a tank-like creature. Also, at one point in the movie, his dick turns into a giant drill that he impales his girlfriend on. Just thought you should know. The Adventures of Mark Twain. In this bizarre claymated movie, Mark Twain takes some kids on an airship as several Mark Twain stories are told through vignettes. The animation itself is kind of creepy, but one infamous scene has the kids left in a room on the airship with the mysterious stranger, who is no doubt Satan himself. His face shifts around all creepy, and then he makes clay people who get killed. The Darkest of the Hillside Thickets. This is an H.P. Lovecraft-inspired band where a lot of the lyrics dive into horror. Like, for instance, the song Protein starts by describing the act of chopping a woman up. The Evil Within. This is another one of those games where the enemies are twisted abominations, like one called the Obscura that's a female body with stretched out limbs and a camera head, or the Guardian which is a towering monstrosity made up of corpses of women murder victims. The Incredible Melting Man. I mean, the title says it all on this one, but it's a horror movie where an astronaut withstands a large amount of radiation and slowly begins melting while trying to eat people. Fun fact, this was originally written as a comedy that parodied horror films, but the comedic scenes were cut and instead more serious horror scenes were added. It would be interesting to see the comedic version of this in a director's cut or something. The Mandela Catalog the Mandela Catalog is an analog horror series about the fictional Mandela County and its run-ins with alternates who are basically demons that are capable of changing their shape in order to resemble other people, as well as using psychological techniques to induce their victims into committing suicide. It's a huge rabbit hole, and I'd suggest watching Windigoon's video covering it if you're interested. The Mask Cartoon The Mask in any form is body horror, but this is specifically talking about the cartoon, which features a lot of villains who come about after using the mask. The mask itself attaching to your face is just disturbing. The Ruins so, remember when I messed up in the last video and instead of talking about the Marvel comic Ruins, I thought it meant a book called The Ruins about tourists who are trapped on a hill with tribes people ready to kill them if they leave and flesh-eating vines on top? Yeah, so this is the film adaption of that book and it definitely has some brutal scenes like a man painstakingly forced to amputate his legs with rudimentary equipment. The Scream Scene, Looney Tunes Back in Action. I believe this is the scene where Elmer Fudd is trying to kill Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck, and a chase scene ensues through a museum of art. The tunes are able to jump into the paintings. They jump into the classic painting, The Scream, and at one point after getting his toes smashed, Elmer Fudd replicates the scream, which looks pretty spooky. The Walton Files. The Walton Files is an animated YouTube series inspired by Five Nights at Freddy's where episodes are portrayed like a series of VHS tapes found from the 70s. Very similar to Five Nights at Freddy's, the series features disturbing animatronic characters. There's something about Amy. This is a YouTube series about Amy from the Sonic series getting fed up with Sonic blowing her off and gets help from Tails who helps to improve her looks by actually turning her into a Frankenstein-like abomination. Thumb Thumbs, Spy Kids. In the Spy Kids movies, there are henchmen slash slave creatures known as Thumb Thumbs whose bodies are made of thumbs. You get the idea. Tokyo Gore Police. Tokyo Gore Police is a stylized J-horror movie. The film is set in future Japan where a mad scientist has created a virus that infects people which are called engineers. The virus allows them to sprout weapons from any injury. You can imagine the horrible things this idea can conjure. Like a man getting his penis bitten off and the wound turning into a giant dick cannon. That's just scratching the surface of this movie. It's absolutely relentless in the body horror and gore department. So don't watch if you have a weak stomach. Seriously. Toward after the explosion. This is referring to an episode of Ed's World where the character Tord's robot explodes and he's caught in the explosion where his body is badly damaged. Trollge. Trollge is the dark and demented version of Trollface with multiple variations across the internet. Tusk. Tusk is somewhere in the realm of the human centipede but with a comedic angle. A podcaster played by Justin Long travels to Canada for an interview but it turns out that the guy's a psycho and starts slowly turning him into a walrus. It's funny but also deeply unsettling and hard to watch at times. Uncle Grandpa. Uncle Grandpa is a wacky ass show. 
In one episode, a Halloween special called Afraid of the Dark, Uncle Grandpa helps a little girl get over her fears of the dark by telling her it's all just in her imagination and there's nothing to be afraid of. Unfortunately, their imaginations are horrifying and the room fills with monsters. Near the end of the episode, the duo realize they must conquer their fears by becoming their fears and transform themselves into hellish creatures. That's just one example, but the show has a lot of weird stuff like that. Void memes are remix videos that often transform the subject of the video clip into a red-tinted interdimensional monster accompanied by eerie music or high-pitched audio. If you're wondering why that explanation is so well-written and concise, it's because I ripped it straight from Know Your Meme. Hey, I can cheat once in a while, right? Watership Down. Okay, I never heard of this before, which is why I love icebergs, but Watership Down is a novel turned film about a group of bunnies trying to escape being demolished by human developers and are seeking a new home. It almost could be a charming kids movie other than the fact that there's gratuitous violence involving a lot of the rabbits being killed in brutal ways. Whack Your Games Whack Your Games started out with simply Whack Your Boss, but has evolved to include many different potential titles, people, and relationships, including Whack Your Ex. The idea is that you can choose various ways to kill the person, and it sometimes gets really graphic. Wishmaster. Wishmaster is about a demon called a Dijin who will grant three wishes to whoever unleashes him, but when he does, he'll summon his demon brethren to Earth. The demon goes on a full-on killing spree, feeding off of people's fears, but I think the most body horror moment is when a man's skeleton comes out of his body in the most painstaking, bloody way. World of Horror. World of Horror is a 1-bit pixel RPG and horror game that takes place in the town of Shiokawa, Japan. The player must explore various locations and fight otherworldly creatures in order to halt the apocalypse. These creatures are inspired heavily by Japanese horror folklore and thus have some grotesque features such as an enemy called Scissor Woman based off of the Slip Mouse Woman from Japanese folklore. There's also a burned version of her. Ugh. Xavier, Renegade Angel. This is a trippy, psychedelic, dark comedy animated show that features a fawn-like pseudo-shaman Xavier in his wacky adventures. The animation alone is creepy enough, but there's also some good body horror sprinkled in as well. Yeah, it's a weird show. Last but not least, Zalgo. Boy, this one is a whole nother rabbit hole, but basically Zalgo is a creepypasta turned meme who is an ominous being who has the ability to induce insanity, death, and total destruction of the world. Zalgo has inspired a lot of media and art that's all pretty disturbing. My Metamorphosis Begins refers to a Void comic in which a man undergoes an agonizing metamorphosis ritual with the last panel revealing his new form. It became a popular meme back in 2020 where the new form usually serves as a punchline. 31 Minutos this is a Chilean comedy television series that's a parody of 60 Minutes and features a ton of music. At least, that's what I gather since I don't speak the language. As far as the body horror goes, the show features a zombie butler that has his eyeball hanging out, and there's an entire music video with a bunch of zombies performing. Nine. Nine is a largely overlooked animated film from 2009 where a scientist creates a sentient rag doll that adventures through a post-apocalyptic world. All the dolls in this movie are imperfect in different ways, and the idea that they're reanimated and actually given life from the scientist is pretty interesting. Jamer. Jamer, I, I think that's how you say it, is a YouTube animator whose videos often feature characters' bodies distorting in different ways. I have to say, I think this animation stands out as being particularly good in this area of YouTube. A Bad Case of Stripes A Bad Case of Stripes is a children's book about a girl who wakes up with thick stripes on her skin that change shape depending on what people yell out. A Hinnabarbus Hennessyed I might be saying that wrong too. This is a YouTube video with a very unsettling face that chomps its teeth while strange clicking noises just repeat. As the video goes on, the face multiplies and the sounds get more intense, inducing anxiety for a lot of people. It's also worth noting that there is a whole story about a Facebook user with this name who is randomly adding people and then sending them cheese pizza and gore. And apparently the FBI was even investigating it, but once you say the FBI is investigating something internet related, I start getting more skeptical on whether it's true, but interesting nonetheless. This is the kind of thing I love about this iceberg. We go from a children's book to predatory internet entities. The range of body horror is hilarious. Altered States Altered States is a 1980s science fiction body horror movie about a psychopathologist who begins researching altered states of consciousness. He travels to Mexico to join a tribe in a ceremony in which they share hallucinatory states. After some bizarre visions, he takes some of the hallucinatory concoction with him to continue research, taking them while in a sensory deprivation tank, and it gets real weird after that. He begins changing forms, at first he changes into a caveman, which is already somewhat disturbing, and eventually he devolves back into 
a primordial ooze with all the glory of disgusting 80s effects. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. I mean, what can you say about this one? It's a cult classic comedy horror in the same vein as Killer Clowns from Outer Space, with a ridiculous premise and plenty of satire. They're sentient tomatoes who eat people alive. It's a lot of good fun. In the sequels, they actually have human faces, which is even more disturbing, although I prefer when there's just a featureless tomato barreling towards people because it's just more funny. Barefoot Jen. Barefoot Jen is a manga turned animated film based on the author's own experience as a Hiroshima survivor and features some gnarly imagery of people's bodies as the bombs fell and the aftermath. Basket Case. This is a really weird movie in the best way. It's about a man who carries around a large basket hiding something inside. That something turns out to be his deformed conjoined twin that was separated from him via surgery. It's basically a deformed head with an arm. The brothers are on a revenge mission to kill the surgeon who separated them. Begotten. Begotten is a surreal horror movie from 1990 that looks like it's from 1890, but that doesn't stop it from being creepy as hell and really weird. I mean, just let me read you the first few sentences of the film synopsis. Inside a small shack, a robed figure dubbed God Killing Himself in the film's credits disembowels himself using a straight razor. After removing some of his internal organs, the robed god dies. A woman, Mother Earth, then emerges from his mutilated remains. She brings the corpse to arousal and uses his semen to impregnate herself. Talk about hitting the ground running, I mean, what the f- Well, the body horror comes into play with the dead god looking very disturbing, along with Mother Earth's son, who's disfigured. The entire movie's on YouTube, and also Spooky Rice does a breakdown if you want to just check out all the weird parts. Beastock Burden Album Cover. This refers to this album art. I don't know if there's much to say about it other than... What the hell? Biohunter. Biohunter is a manga and anime about two molecular biologists who take on humans with strange viruses that make them less human and more demonic. Black Sheep. This is not the 1996 comedy starring Chris Farley and David Spade, but the 2006 movie about zombie sheep. Yeah, this movie's bonkers. Basically, zombie sheep are on the attack as they brutally kill and mutilate people, but the true body horror comes into play when a character gets bit in the foot and it begins turning into a hoof, which is creepy enough, but then his entire body transforms into a were-sheep. Yeah, like I said, bonkers. Blue Channel, Thalassin. Blue Channel Thalassin is a viral analog horror video. The video is a mock television commercial for a drug called Thalassin that causes a variety of emotions in the user. In the second half of the video, the host talks about Thalassin Plus, which allows users to experience emotions beyond previous natural capabilities, represented by disturbing, body horror-esque images of someone striking each facial expression. Body Melt. This film is about the residents of a small town who get free dietary supplement pills in the mail and unknowingly become test subjects for the new drug. Unfortunately, as you'd expect, the drug causes horrifying side effects, including, but not limited to, liquefying flesh, elongated tongues, exploding stomachs, exploding penises, imploding heads, monstrous births, tentacles growing out of the face, living mucus, sentient placentas, and other gruesome mutations. Well, all I gotta say is sentient placentas is a cool-ass band name. But this movie is absolutely disgusting. I gotta check it out. Brain Scan. Brain Scan is a movie about a teenage gamer who tries out a new video game called Brain Scan. Within the game is a supernatural entity known as the Trickster who possesses the kid and uses him to murder. There are several body horror scenes like the Trickster bending his fingers back and gouging his eyes out, and the Trickster and the kid fusing together into a nightmare abomination, although that's just a deleted scene. Carved. Carved, or a slit-mouthed woman, is a Japanese horror film based off the Japanese folktale about a woman whose mouth has been sliced open on both sides. The woman will ask you if you think she's beautiful, and depending on how you reply, she'll either kill you or make you beautiful like her by cutting your mouth as well. The film does a good job showing off the terror of this woman's face. Closet Monster. Closet Monster is a film about a teenager struggling with his homosexuality and has hallucinations. In certain situations, the boy feels pain in his stomach. Eventually, during a fight with his father, the pain gets so severe and a rod protrudes out of him, which he pulls out. This is, of course, a hallucination, but body horror nonetheless. Clown. Clown is a film where a man wears an old clown outfit he finds in his basement for his son's birthday party. He falls asleep in the outfit and wakes up the next morning to find he can't take it off. Slowly, the outfit merges with his actual body as he slowly transforms into a clown. It's a really dark movie, but pretty cool concept. Cool world. The whole plot of this movie is that there's this cartoon world, and in this world, if a toon has sex with a human, they become human. But if this happens and the world's 
you know, cross over, things get pretty wacky. So they have to make sure this one really hot toon chick doesn't bang a human. What a weird movie. Anyway, spoilers, she does and turns human along with some other characters who begin shifting between human form and toon form. Daisy Brown. Daisy Brown is a web series and ARG about a woman feeding and raising a small humanoid monster named Alan. It's a pretty creepy series and although it's simple, it's very effective. Deathbed, the bed that eats. This is a more comedic entry. The title explains it pretty well, but this is a cult classic movie about a living bed that eats people. I really wish I had more to say about it, but that really is the movie. It's it's a killer bit. Death Trash. Death Trash is a post-apocalyptic game that's been called a grimier, scarier, nastier Fallout, which makes sense because it does share some similar elements to the original Fallout game. Anyway, it features all kinds of blood and gore, mutated abominations, and dismemberment. Deterioration of Mind Over Matter. This is an art piece by Otto Rapp showing a human head deteriorating and staring at it for too long can really give you the chills. Discover My Body Discover My Body is a point-and-click horror game where you are a medical student testing the application of lab synthesized fungi on a human test subject and watch the disturbing results. Fish Hooks Fish Hooks is a Disney Channel show about fish in high school and the fish are sometimes portrayed with human faces or limbs. Freaked Freaked is a radical, gross-out 90s comedy about a movie star who's held hostage by a mad scientist that turns people into freaks. It'd be disturbing if it wasn't so funny. Gemini Home Entertainment This is one of the most iconic analog horror series, and I won't explain the entire thing. I think Wendigoon did that already. But basically, it's a series of VHS tapes that explore various topics, including messages about an alien invasion by creatures known as wood crawlers who take human hosts. Ginger Dead Man The Ginger Dead Man is a bizarre comedy horror movie about a serial killer who is cremated and his ashes are mixed into a gingerbread mix by a witch infusing his soul into a gingerbread man which then goes on a killing spree. Also the Ginger Dead Man is played by Gary Busey so yeah. Godom. Godom is a Korean horror anthology show featuring several disturbing stories, mostly revolving around high school students. There are a couple of different gory things that happen in this series, like a man's eyes being pulled out, but one episode has some really creepy body horror when a student is bullied to the point of suicide. She then comes back as a vengeful ghost and takes her bully's legs. Then, when she finds that they don't suit her, she does the same to her teacher. Guinea Pig Movies. The Guinea Pig films are a series of Japanese exploitation films that are basically torture porn. The movies vary to some degree, but typically involve intense body mutilation and gore. The first couple of movies, The Devil's Experiment, which features teenage boys torturing and killing a girl, and Flowers of Flesh and Blood, where a serial killer slowly chops up a living woman one limb at a time, were so convincing that many people believe they were real. Famously, Charlie Sheen called the FBI after watching Flowers of Flesh and Blood, thinking it was a real snuff film. Another one worth mentioning is Mermaid in a Manhole, where a man finds a dying mermaid that he keeps in his bathtub as she slowly becomes covered in pus-filled sores and her body starts to decay. Yeah, fun stuff. Hamburger Helper Anatomy Hamburger Helper Anatomy is a meme started by someone asking the question of what's the proper bone structure of Lefty, the Hamburger Helper mascot? Initially, the images were crude Photoshop, but this quickly grew into artists rendering their own terrifying versions. Harmony and Horror this is another analog horror series in the vein of the Walton Files. It essentially follows a toy maker who goes insane and kills his family in brutal ways, who now come back as vengeful spirits, albeit distorted versions of themselves. Haosu. House is a fan favorite Japanese haunted house movie with surreal special effects and outlandish scenarios. It's about a group of high school girls and their quarrels with a haunted house, including being eaten by a piano and an attacking floating decapitated head, just to name a couple. How Fish is Made. Another really weird game on the list is How Fish is Made. You play as a fish having an existential crisis. There's some light fish gore, but also the environments can be a little off-putting. The game even gives a trypophobia warning because some areas have patches of fleshy holes on the walls. I Can't Sleep I Can't Sleep is an animated YouTube channel with a gothic, hand-drawn style that usually features the characters being injured or injuring themselves. The red blood is a stark contrast to the otherwise black and white imagery, and it looks pretty cool. Infernax. Infernax is a retro-style platforming game in the same vein as Castlevania. The game features grotesque enemies and bosses, and just 
copious amounts of gore. And Humanoids. And Humanoids is a cartoon about scientists and their fight against mutant-like creatures that came from under the earth. Jack Frost. This could be referring to two different movies. Jack Frost, the 1998 family-friendly movie about a dad being resurrected as a snowman in order to set things right with his son, or Jack Frost, the 1997 R-rated movie about a serial killer who gets genetic material on him which fuses him with the snow so he becomes a killer snowman. Yeah, it was a bad night when you're eight years old and you get the two mixed up at the blockbuster. John Schwankmeyer Films. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. But anyway, this guy's a Czech filmmaker and artist. He's a self-labeled surrealist known for his stop-motion animations and features. One of his films, for instance, is called Little Odic, about a childless couple who pretend a tree stump is their baby. But then it actually comes to life and demands to be fed. Killer 7. Killer 7 is a pretty unique video game where you play as seven different assassins. The thing is, these assassins are actually manifestations of just one man who exhibits multifoliate persona phenomena. This isn't just DID or multiple personality disorder. This guy actually biologically changes into the seven different personas. There's also a terrestrial group in the game called Heaven Smile who've been infected by a disease that evokes the need to kill and their primary means of doing so is an exploding organ in their bodies. Le Viol. Le Viol is a really weird painting that features a woman whose face is replaced by a nude woman's torso. I'm not sure if I need to blur this or not. Leopold's old smithing accident, Amphibia. Leopold Loggle is a character from a Disney show called Amphibia, and he was stabbed in the throat by a metal pipe during a metal smithing accident, damaging his voice box. Let me hear your war cry. Let me hear your war cry is a classic weird YouTube video featuring a scene from Full Metal Jacket, but the characters' faces are replaced with what looks like doll heads as they continuously scream at each other. M. Stain. M. Stain is a truly bizarre PS1 style adventure game. It's all about the protagonist going for a job interview with the titular M. Stain. The interview gets more and more disturbing and it eventually leads you to M. Stain's secret cult. As you approach his altar, you see several green skinned children with blacked out eyes, along with several other cult members. Anyway, his head leaves his body with the spine attached and he has bat wings flying him around and you have to fight him. This is another one of those games that I, I feel like I gotta play. Mad God. Mad God is an animated stop-motion masterpiece where a character travels through a nightmare underworld of tortured souls, ruined cities, and wretched monstrosities. The monster effects are top-notch here, and in my opinion, this is a must-see for animation fans. Manny. Manny is a YouTube short film featuring a mannequin head that moves during stop-motion animation, and as the video goes on, the head is progressively disfigured and eventually melted. Metalosis Maligna. This is referring to a documentary about a fictional illness known as Metalosis Maligna that is a side effect of metal implants. The video showcases the implants growing long metal tendrils and eventually even shows a very disturbing patient who has half of his head and his left arm missing, which are replaced with metal pieces. Mother Russia Bleeds Mother Russia Bleeds is a beat-em-up that takes place in an alternate Soviet Russia run by the Russian mob. The player is a gypsy who makes money street fighting before waking up in an underground government facility where they've been the test subjects of a new drug. It's basically a bloody revenge tale after this, but there are several disturbing enemies in the game, including hallucinations caused by the drug, which eventually manifests completely as a figure sitting on top of a giant heart that you must battle. Mr. Meaty Mr. Meaty is about two teenagers who work at a McDonald's-like fast food restaurant, and the characters are all puppets with slightly distorted faces and bodies, which can be kind of disturbing. Mr. Simonette's Scar, Pay It Forward. This is probably one of the most weird and obscure entries on this list, but this is referring to Kevin Spacey's character in the romantic drama Pay It Forward. The character, Mr. Simonette, was abused as a child by his father, including being set on fire, which leaves him with some nasty scars, although for the sake of this list, they're really not that bad. My Mom is a Surgeon. My Mom is a Surgeon is a dark comedy webcomic where a mother performs surgery on her daughter's mouth so that it resembles Predator. Nario Maru Dark Side. Nario Maru Dark Side may be my favorite discovery on this iceberg so far. It's a YouTube channel featuring stop motion horror animation, and man, it's, it's really good. There's a series called Deform that basically features disturbing, malformed creatures attacking and mutilating people's bodies. It's body horror heaven, and j just go check it out if you haven't already. It's really cool. Needle Mouse. Needle Mouse is an analog horror video that starts off just Sonic the Hedgehog gameplay and quickly transcends into a horror story of someone who appears to have been trapped in the game or something. Anyway, there's a creepy pair of eyes that at one point turn into a disturbing, distorted 
Sonic character. Off the Air. Off the Air is a really strange Adult Swim show that aired at the 4 a.m. graveyard slot. It's usually an array of various footage blended together involving animation with psychedelic imagery and music. The body horror comes in with episodes like Animals, where animals are distorted and mashed together in various ways on screen. Oma, No More Heroes 3. Oma's a pink alien squid-like creature and boss in No More Heroes 3. A possible death has Oma shoot a pink beam at Travis that turns him into a pink cartoon blob-like creature. Paranoia Escape. This is a horror pinball style game released on the PS1 that is truly chaotic. The levels are made up of strange creatures and human body parts. One level's covered in mouths, noses, and well, I don't know how else to say it. I, I think those are buttholes. Perfect Vermin. Perfect Vermin is an indie horror game where you progress through an office building with a sledgehammer and destroy any furniture that looks out of place as the timer ticks down. A news reporter tells you not to waste time and guides you. The furniture you destroy explodes in a gory mess and the news reporter also goes through some body horror himself as the game progresses, starting with a deadly nosebleed and ending as a crumbling mess with bleeding sores and tumors, discolored skin, and gross eyes and mouth. Poppy the Performer this is a really strange 3D animated kids show from 2001. The characters can be creepy looking by themselves, but there are also just some disturbing moments that that early CGI has always seemed to manifest. Quality Meats. Quality Meats is a short and sweet YouTube video of a supermarket, only there are strange meat humanoids walking toward the camera in a truly unsettling fashion. Rubber. Rubber is a movie you may have heard of as it stars a tire that has psychokinesis and goes on a killing spree where he uses his power to make people explode. Sacrifice. Sacrifice is a real-time strategy game from 2000 featuring really strange looking humanoid characters and creatures. Saya no Uda. This is a weird one. It's a visual novel about a guy who gets into a car crash that leaves him mentally impaired. The way that this manifests is the fact that he sees the environment and people as disgusting lumps of flesh. Right before committing suicide, he meets a girl who looks beautiful and they start a relationship, although this girl is actually a hideous monster. Pretty interesting premise, I gotta say. Secret Mountain Fort Awesome. This is a Cartoon Network show about five monsters in a fraternity who do stunts. The characters are all hideous monsters, including this one guy who, he's just all butt. Shea St. John. Shea St. John is a fictional character in Art Project who appears in a series of surrealist campy short films. You've probably seen this character around the creepy side of YouTube, but it's really just a human moving a mannequin in disturbing ways. Although the backstory is that she was a model who was disfigured in a train accident, and then they rebuilt her body with mannequin parts. Shed 17. This is essentially a mockumentary about Thomas and Friends that's really morbid, but mainly the fact that the trains, including Thomas, are just bio-infused humans whose organs have been taken out and replaced by mechanical implants. Sojo Subaki. Sojo Subaki, aka Midori, is known as one of the most fucked up mangas and films of all time, and was even banned in many countries. I don't think it's that bad, at least as far as the blood and gore go, compared to a lot of other things on this list, but it definitely is really disturbing because of the pedophilia aspect. So. Just to explain, Midori is a young girl whose mom dies, that's putting it lightly because rats eat her and it's really disgusting. Anyway, Midori's taken in by a circus troupe who basically rape and abuse her, including one dude who's missing all of his limbs, this other weird shriveled up character with a long neck. There's also a wizard in the movie who straight up kills people by deforming their bodies in grotesque ways. I mean, that's not even half of it, honestly. Smiley. Smiley is a 2012 horror film starring several big YouTube stars from the time. As they're stalked and killed by Smiley, an internet myth turned real entity who has stitched his eyes shut and cut his mouth into a smile. Strowinski and the Mysterious House. Strowinski and the Mysterious House is the story of four talking animals who discover a hidden mansion in the middle of a secret forest. Most notably this guy, the anthropomorphic worm character who became a huge meme. Struggling. Struggling is a game where you play as a two-headed abomination and struggle your way through disturbing environments and fight other grotesque creatures and bosses. Takina. Takina is a YouTube animator and stop-motion artist whose videos often feature body mutilation and transformation. Tale of Tales. Tale of Tales is a fantasy horror film that tells three stories. One story is about two old sisters, one of which is turned young and beautiful by being breastfed by a witch. The king sees her and decides to make her his queen. All the while, the other sister, who's still old, keeps asking her how she became young again, and out of annoyance, the young sister tells her that she was flayed. So the old sister finds someone to flay her skin off, leaving her body bloody and disfigured. Teeth. Teeth is a film about a high school girl whose vagina grows teeth and bites off dude's wieners. No, seriously, that's, that's the movie. Ty Smile. Ty Smile's a really weird old commercial, or maybe parody of a commercial, where a flight attendant smiles at some passengers until her face rips from smiling. The ad ends with her face all bandaged up. The Brood. 
Cronenberg strikes again with the brood and man, what a weird one. I'll just give you the skinny as it pertains to body horror, but basically a woman through asexual reproduction has several kids and I'm using kids loosely because these are strange dwarf-like creatures that are asexual, supposedly colorblind, naturally toothless, and devoid of a navel. Anyway, they attack and kill people. The Brothers Grimm movie. The Brothers Grimm features a lot of nightmare fuel. One notable case is that somehow this movie managed to make the gingerbread man scary by revealing him as an amorphous, indestructible mud monster, which starts off its presence by essentially melting a little girl's face and taking it for herself. The Brothers Grunt. By the same creator of Ed, Ed, and Eddie, the Brothers Grunt features some really disturbing animation, and the brothers themselves are just really gross looking. The Darker Side of Nonsense album cover. So this is an album by a metal band called Dry Kill Logic, and... Well, there's not much to it. it. I mean, just look at it. The Dolls with Attitude. This is a Japanese horror short about a girl who decides that constant smiling solves everything. But then her face turns into a doll face and everyone around her doesn't even acknowledge it. The Missing Parts of Maria Gwazdek. This is a game where you play as a woman named Maria who meets a stranger that offers her an unusual deal. The stranger will fulfill any of Maria's wishes, but in return for each wish, Maria will give them one of her organs. The Monument Mythos. God damn it, this iceberg keeps sending me down these huge rabbit holes, but basically the monument mythos is an analog horror seen through documentary-like videos that show an alternate Earth where there are slight differences from our reality. One not-so-slight difference is that there are Eldritch-style monsters that hide in national monuments like the Liberty Lurker, for instance, who lives in the Statue of Liberty. The Stuff, 1985. This is another wacky one about a sweet filling substance known as the stuff that's quickly sold in stores across the nation, only the stuff is actually a parasitic alien organism that gradually takes over the brain. It then mutates those who eat it into a bizarre zombie-like creature before consuming them from the inside. There's a particularly gruesome scene with a character named Charlie, and all I can say is... Poor Charlie. The Toxic Avenger. This is the most iconic of the trauma films about a nerdy high school boy who is mercilessly bullied to the point where he's chased out of a window, falling into a vat of toxic waste. He then transforms into a mutated hero known as the Toxic Avenger. The thing is, Toxie doesn't just knock criminals out. He fucks them up in brutally disturbing ways. It's, it's so awesome. I love this movie. Three Extremes. Three Extremes is an anthology film composed of three horror shorts. They each have a little bit of body horror. Dumplings is about a woman who buys mysterious dumplings from a seller who promises they'll make her more beautiful and youthful. Turns out these dumplings are made of human fetuses. The second short, Cut, is about a director and his wife who are kidnapped by a man who slowly cuts off the wife's fingers and Box, the final short, features conjoined twins, so... Yeah. Thrill Kill. Thrill Kill is a canceled PlayStation 1 fighting game that has since been made available through bootlegs online. The premise of the game is that 10 people have been sent to hell after they die and fight in a tournament. The winner will then be granted their life back. It features a roster of characters that are deformed in some way or another, including a dwarf with stilts in his legs, a cannibal who uses a severed leg as a weapon, and a surgeon who's grafted metal jaws onto his own face. Tony Robbins' Vore Scene. This is referring to a cutaway gag in Family Guy where Peter Griffin swallowed whole by Tony Robbins, who unhinges his jaw and elongates his neck in order to devour him. Too Much Kirby. Too Much Kirby is an analog horror series about a mortal disease that breaks out from playing Too Much Kirby and features really disturbing imagery. Trent Shy. This is another YouTube animator who specializes in stop motion claymation. He has a lot of horror elements to his videos. One series called The Animator is a first person perspective from the animator himself as he tortures his claymation creations. Another video titled Pumpkin Boy shows an animated jack-o'-lantern eat a boy's face off. It's really another great channel to check out. You can know Joe. You Can Know Joe, or simply Joe, is another YouTube animator who's responsible for making the infamous Dog of Wisdom video. But memes aside, there are some really great and strange videos on his channel that sometimes feature body horror, like The Family Simp, a video about the Peter Griffin Homer Simpson crossover where Peter and Homer are somehow killing each other in brutal ways before just coming back to life and doing it again. Like at one point in the fight, Homer chomps up Peter's head, swallows him, and literally shits him out. Unclassified Encounter. This is a YouTube channel about the super natural featuring Bigfoot, ghosts, you name it. And it's all taking place during an alternate timeline World War II. Under the Skin. This is a really interesting film about a woman who picks up and then kills men. Well, kind of kills them. She's kind of an alien and sends them to a weird void. Anyway, near the end of the movie, she peels off her skin suit to reveal a strange featureless black body beneath, and it looks really creepy. Unedited footage of a bear. This is one of the strangest and most unsettling of the Adult Swim infomercials. It starts off as literally just unedited footage of a bear, but then an ad pops up about a new drug. 
But before you know it, the ad just keeps on going as we follow the woman who is taking the medication, and it appears she's been overtaking it, which has caused the adverse reaction of another insane killer version of her to appear. It's very unsettling in a lot of ways. Something about the way the duplicate stands and runs just really creeps me out. Upgrade. Upgrade is a revenge tale about a man who's left paralyzed after an attack, but gets an implant called STEM that can control motor function, giving him the ability to move his body again. He goes on a revenge mission, and the implant begins talking to him and giving him information. Unfortunately, his mind is eventually broken, and STEM takes full control of his body. Villainous Villainous is a Cartoon Network web series about the Black Hat organization which is an evil group that helps villains overcome problems. At one point, Vilgax, the main antagonist from Ben 10, tries to shapeshift into the Black Hat leader, and it goes wrong, turning him into a two-headed deformed blob. WB Splatter WB Splatter is part of a larger thing in which the WB sign has blood on it and also displays the word splatter. The idea is that the splatter has infected the show and now it's filled with blood and gore. Like I said, there's a lot to it, but all I know is there's a video on YouTube of Tom and Jerry and the Looney Tunes brutally mutilating each other's bodies. We all scream for ice cream. So this is an episode of the horror show Masters of Horror where a different horror story would be told every episode and we all scream for ice cream. A disfigured ice cream man comes back from the dead for revenge after a prank gone wrong kills him. The way he kills his victims is both hilarious and brutal. He makes ice cream in the shape of his victim and offers it to a child. If the child eats it, the person it was shaped like begins violently melting like ice cream. When Blackbirds Fly when Blackbirds Fly is a really weird animated film about people living in heaven, a suburban paradise, and are told by their leader not to talk to the evil one who's outside of the wall that surrounds the town. There are many hellish distorted scenes with some body horror moments. Where the Dead Go to Die where the Dead Go to Die is actually from the same director as When Blackbirds Fly and is actually much more intense when it comes to the gore. At one point, a devil dog pulls a woman's unborn child out of her womb and throws it aside before biting off her husband's penis. Their son, who witnesses this, now passes out and has visions where a fetus is trapped in a bubble and his parents have mutated into anthropomorphic dogs. This guy makes some really off the wall films, man. Woman to Wolf Morph. This is just a video where a woman, well, morphs into a wolf. It's really weird and it looks like it's from PBS back in 2001. I mean, it's hard to explain. It's just got that classic visual style. Worm, web serial. This is a pretty big rabbit hole, or maybe I should say wormhole to go down, but Worm is basically a superhero based web serial and within it are some pretty unsettling villains. Like an indestructible woman who eats people alive and a mad scientist who's turned himself into a living dog. Extro. Apparently this is just a really bizarre movie, but it's essentially about a man who's abducted by aliens. So let me give you an idea of how weird this is. Three years after this alien abduction, a half-human, half-alien creature develops from a seed. It attacks and impregnates a young woman before dissolving. When she awakens later, her belly rapidly grows to a gargantuan size until she gives birth to a fully formed man who's the guy that was abducted originally. Talk about a mindfuck, and I mean... Damn, her body is just literally ripped open by a full-grown man popping out. My god. Yabujin music videos. So, Yabujin's a really weird musical artist. I'm not even sure how to define the genre. And the music videos are just as weird. Usually they feature bad cinematic effects, and sometimes there'll just be randomly really dark imagery. Like, I don't know how to explain this one. Yuppie Psycho. Yuppie Psycho is a game where an unlikely candidate is hired by a huge company to hunt witches. I think I basically got that right. Well, there's some strange enemies in the game, including HR ladies whose heads are just giant mouths, and Dot Matrix, which is an experimental printer that moves with four human hands. It looks like a really unique game. Zombie Ass, Toilet of the Dead. I actually covered this movie on my J-Horror Iceberg and couldn't stop laughing. The plot of the movie is that some friends decide to go camping in the woods, and the reason why? One of the friends is a model who's heard about a parasitic worms in the fish of the area, and she wants to catch a fish and eat it, hoping to get the worm so that she'll lose weight. No, seriously, that's, that's the setup of this movie. Then she does get a parasite, but not the kind she wanted because she ends up shitting out some shit virus eggs that cause the dead to rise up out of toilets and attack. There's these specific shit zombies that walk ass first towards their victims, and these sharp-toothed worms stick out of their assholes. It's one of the craziest Japanese movies I've ever seen, and I'm not doing it any justice. If you want to go check out the J-Horror Iceberg Tier 4, I think, where I break the whole thing down, you can you can do that. Ah, l'interior. I believe this is referencing a French horror film about a pregnant woman who's lost her husband and she ends up being stalked and taken hostage by a strange lady who wants to take her unborn baby out of her. Yikes. 
I wake up with zippers in my skin. This is a no sleep Reddit post about a girl who wakes up one morning with a zipper in the underside of her arm. She freaks out of course and gets it removed via surgery, but soon after it reappears. She decides to hide it and over the course of a few years more zippers appear and the old one grows longer. The story ends in a truly horrific way. She gains a lot of followers online and eventually does a live stream. During the live stream, the oldest zipper she has, which has now grown across her entire body, gets snagged and unzipped causing all of her innards to fall out, which she desperately tries to put back inside. Two channel... Uh, well, I'm not up to date on my katakana, but this translates to 2CH, this girl's really scary, but please use your powers to somehow make her cute. It's honestly just an old ass video of the classic Ahina Barbus Hennessy image, except it keeps being altered in various and sometimes funny ways, while J-pop music plays in the background. 964 Pinocchio. This film reminds me a lot of Tetsuo the Iron Man. It follows a defective sex robot slash cyborg, Unit 964, and by defective I mean he's basically thrown out for not being able to maintain an erection. Which leads me to our sponsor for today's video, Blue Chew. Just kidding. Anyway, he has amnesia and is lost in the city before meeting a homeless girl who attempts to teach him how to talk and names him Pinocchio. There's a lot of really weird stuff here, including a character that's just a huge moon-like creepy head, some freaky body horror transformation scenes, and also the homeless girl won't stop puking in the subway at one point, so it's got all that fun stuff. You might love it, you might hate it, but I think we can all agree it's better than the new Pinocchio remake on Disney+. Plus. Adventure Dog, The Dog Will Never End this is a YouTube video that seems just like the typical Adventure Time opening, but instead of Finn the human, it's Finn the dog, and from there the theme just keeps listing characters except they're all dogs. The music turns eerie as the camera keeps panning, more and more things are now dogs, to the point that we see dog monstrosities, or as I call them, dogstrosities, and this continues to a cosmic level. Alfred's Playhouse Alfred's Playhouse, I can say confidently, is one of the most chaotic and unsettling web animations I've ever seen. Depending on how dark your sense of humor is, it's either really funny or really sad, but probably for most people it lands somewhere in the middle. It's kind of hard to explain, but the show follows a mentally ill dog who's been traumatized by abuse and escapes to a fantasy land called Alfred's Playhouse. The show features extremely jarring animation, imagery, and sound effects. The very first episode starts off with a really dark theme song where Alfred sings about the trauma that happens frequently in his life, like waking up with blood in his bed and not knowing why, and pretending to be in a spaceship when in reality he's being sexually abused. Like I said, it's both funny and disturbing depending on your sense of humor. But it gets into the body horror in episode 2 when Alfred's injured and the bones come out of his leg. He attempts to fix it in completely unhelpful ways, like shoving crowns into it for instance, and he also puts random staples into it before bleeding out and dying. The series is made into a full length film, but is currently removed from YouTube due to the creator Emily Yukis apparently advocating for neo-Nazism. Well geez, that took a turn. Anyway, I don't know about all that, but uh, you can still find the whole series here on Newgrounds. One thing I like about the series is the fact that I never saw it, but it feels like something I could have watched back in the day, so it makes me feel that strange, false nostalgia. You know, where it's new but feels old at the same time? I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Balloonia. This is a children's book where a girl turns into a balloon and goes through the fictional world of Balloonia. The thing is, children who stay in Balloonia too long start losing their air and begin to shrivel up. I just gotta point out the funny thing about these lists being in alphabetical order is that you'll have Balloonia right next to American Mary, so it's just a funny contrast. Best haul video on the internet. The best haul video on the internet starts off as a typical makeup haul video, but then starts getting wonky really fast when the girl's eyes go wacky and a scary crying face randomly appears on her for a split second. Eyes start appearing all over her body before it ends. It's definitely a little off-putting. Beware of the Judderman. Judderman is a kind of mascot that appears in a Met Schnapps advert who kind of looks like an ice creature with a creepy head. The ad starts with the Judderman as a marionette puppet on a stage. Then things go live action as he stalks a man in the forest. Eventually the Judderman offers him the schnapps which he drinks and his body begins to distort. At the end of the ad we see the man who's now a marionette himself being controlled by the Judderman. Bobby Yeah. Bobby Yeah is a very surreal animated short featuring a half bunny, half human character whose bunny ears are actually just fleshy lumps on his head. He encounters increasingly horrific nightmare creatures all in the same malformed fleshy style. There's many theories as to what the short means, ranging from the theory that Bobby is actually in hell and another that he's a drug user. It's very surreal and definitely worth an eye tag. D is for Deloused. Okay, so this is from the same dude that made Bobby Yeah and is actually part of an anthology film called The ABCs of Death 2. It's just as weird as Bobby Yeah and definitely has that signature style. It's also another one that's just open to interpretation as a lot of the imagery seems symbolic. Basically a guy is held captive 
captive and tied down to a table. Three deformed men who are covered in bugs are his captors. One of them has a lead pipe as a nose and a bug crawls on it and he knocks it out of his face which begins pouring blood. The bug then grows into a much larger bug and begins eating the man's arm. The guy's now old and a new version of him is remade but the arm that is eating his original body is replaced with a black blade on his new body. He uses the blade to cut off the heads of his three captors and starts feeding their heads to the giant bug's butthole which has a creepy clown floating inside that has a panda's head coming out of its ass that eats the three captors heads. Anyway, you should check it out. Don't Feed the Zombies Don't Feed the Zombies is a classic web animation that features zombies eating people in graphic detail. There's one particular scene where zombies eating a person's head starting from their mouth, which is just cringy to think about. Dora the Ford Explorer this is exactly what it sounds like. It's an animated short in the form of a commercial where Ford's new vehicle is being presented, which is Dora the Ford Explorer. Dora rolls out as a mass of flesh and blood in the form of a car. She cries out in pain and tears fill her eyes as we see that Boots has hung himself in the background. Dream of Gluttony Dream of Gluttony is an indie game where a girl is lost in the woods and enters a nearby town for help. The town is full of people who identify as various food items and has very colorful and cheerful tone. Although something seems off. On a second playthrough of the game, things go a little different and the characters all end up secretly being psychos, like a girl named Candy that begins eating the other characters alive, entirely presenting you. This is a web serial about a girl named Alexis who is brutally attacked and somehow survives. Not only that, but she now has superhuman abilities, including a healing factor. This allows her body to take a huge beating throughout the series, including losing her arm, a head-on collision with a truck, getting both her arms broken and dragged from the back of a motorcycle by the neck. Oh, and and being stabbed twice. She also survives multiple gunshots, including one through the head. XD Hair Extensions XD stands out to me in the realm of body horror because it's not completely focused on torture, which is where a lot of these types of films go. So basically a woman's corpse is found surrounded by hair in a shipping container. While at the morgue, it's discovered that the woman's organs have been harvested. The night watchman at the morgue turns out to be a trichophile. Basically he's a little too into hair, if you know what I mean. So he finds the woman's hair beautiful and steals the corpse, which he brings back to his apartment. For whatever reason, and the corpse keeps growing hair, but not just on her head. It begins growing out of her mouth and eyes and even out of her wounds. This is where the real horror comes in from the film. Watching hair grow out of various places you wouldn't normally expect is really disturbing. So the creepy morgue guy starts selling the hair from the corpse to some hairdressers. The problem is whoever uses the hair extensions ends up being killed by the hair. So yeah, that's the bulk of it. From Beyond Loosely based on H.P. Lovecraft's short story of the same name, two scientists invent a machine called the Resonator which allows humans to see beyond normal perceptible reality by stimulating the pineal gland. The device ends up malfunctioning at full power and things get wacky after that. One of the scientists slowly transforms into a more and more disturbing creature-like version of himself and the other scientist's pineal gland pops out of his forehead which gets bitten off at one point. Man, it's a real horror trip and if you're a fan of 80s special effects and H.P. Lovecraft, give it a watch. Fuguuna Shoujo 03. This is an animated GIF or web video of an anime girl being restrained by a machine and flayed alive. The machine first makes laser incisions throughout her body and then pulls her body out of the pinned down skin with some entrails lagging behind as she immediately begins vomiting. It's only 46 seconds long so if you need a short and sweet dose of gross, there you go. Horrors of Spider Island This is a film from 1960 where the survivors of a plane crash are stranded on an island where the discoverer lives a giant spider. After the spider bites one man, he turns into a strange spider human hybrid and begins killing the other survivors. Infection Infection is a really unique zombie movie and I don't think zombie movie is a good way to describe it. The basic plot is that a virus begins to spread through a hospital and causes green goo to leak from its victims while turning them into maniacal killers. There's a lot of mystery in this movie and the way the story unfolds is sort of unconventional leading it to be a big topic of discussion for J-horror fans who have a plethora of fan theories as to what the movie means. It has that familiar feel of other J-horror movies from the 2000s which isn't a bad thing if you're in the mood for it. Inside Out Boy Inside Out Boy is a claymation character that appeared in five shorts between commercials on Nickelodeon that originally aired from 1989 to 1993. The first short details how he becomes Inside Out when he goes on a swing and swings too high, going over the bar and causing his body to flip inside out, making him Inside Out Boy. Killer Condom this is exactly what it sounds like. A condom with razor sharp teeth keeps biting off the dorks of men staying in a hotel. I mean, I'd have to watch it to figure out what the hell's going on in this movie. Like, do they explain why the condom is a sentient killer? I don't know. So I'm going to see if I can get a hold of this movie somehow and maybe report back. Kuso. 
I can't believe I've never heard of this movie, but that's what the iceberg is made for, baby. Cuso is an anthology film featuring several vignettes all centered around the mutated survivors of an earthquake that's destroyed Los Angeles. The vignettes are broken up throughout the film by animations, television static, and news reporters reporting on the earthquake. There's a lot to touch on with this one, and it could almost be a video in and of itself, but first of all, the subject matter is really dark and depressing, but with a surreal kind of humor. All the survivors we see are mutated somehow or another, usually having boil-infested skin. One story is about a boy who keeps shitting his pants and finding a huge creature that looks like an asshole in the forest, and then he starts feeding it his own shit. Another story is about a woman who develops a talking boil on her neck, and her husband convinces the boil to perform fellatio on him. I'm telling you, this is a weird-ass movie. Lily Cat. This is a 1987 anime film that is heavily inspired by both Alien and The Thing. It follows a spaceship crew who are surveying planets. While in cryogenic sleep, the ship's computer collects a sample of extraterrestrial material that gets loose on the ship. When the crew awakens, they find that two of them are imposters. So you can imagine how it goes from here as the crew are killed off in various ways. Litchi Light Club. I might be saying that wrong. This is a manga about a group of boys who from a this is a manga about a group of boys who form a school club and create life using a mix of both organic and robotic parts to form their creation, Lichi. One of the students even gives one of his eyes to help form Lichi. Maruso Aka. This is a truly chaotic and off-putting music video using Photoshop and animation to bring together nightmarish humans that are severely deformed, moving in unsettling ways. This video is so high octane and move so fast that you could pause it at almost any moment and witness some new disturbing horror. It's pretty cool, 10 out of 10. Mystery Flesh Pit National Park. Mystery Flesh Pit was originally a world building post on Reddit and turned into one of the most interesting and creative ARGs. It revolves around the titular Mystery Flesh Pit, an ancient and indescribably gigantic organism living underneath the Permian Basin region of West Texas and a lucrative tourist attraction sanctioned by the American government until 2007 when the park was shut down after many people kept mysteriously dying. The cool thing about this ARG is the presentation where bits and pieces of the story are shown out of order through park brochures, safety pamphlets, etc. Windigoon does a great and comprehensive breakdown of the whole thing, so I'd recommend watching his video if you want to know more about it. Pathogen X Pathogen X is a haunted PS1 game, or a game that appears like a PS1 game but is actually modern. It's a clear homage to survival horror games of the era like Resident Evil and shares a similar plot as the evil Delta Core's secret lab unleashes a flurry of mutated zombies. I really like this retro stuff that appears like it actually could have come out at the time. Picadone. Similar to Barefoot Gen, Picadon is an animated short film showcasing the horror of the bombs dropped on Hiroshima, once again displaying people being killed terribly. Prince of Darkness Prince of Darkness is a John Carpenter film about a group of Catholic priests and physicists finding the liquid embodiment of Satan held in an ancient cylinder in a church which leaks out, possesses people, and begins killing everybody. They can't escape because a mass horde of homeless people have gathered around the church, and so they try to trap Satan in an interdimensional mirror which is opened by a woman who becomes a physical embodiment of Satan because of all the Satan liquid has transfused into her. So now she's deformed and has special abilities like telekinesis. I swear I'm not making any of this shit up. This movie is wild. Rakurokubi ad. This is referring to a vintage ad for a men's magazine that features a Rakurokubi yokai. Yokai are a large part of Japanese folklore and are typically spirits, creatures, or demons that can be evil, good, or sometimes just tricksters. The Rakurokubi is one of the most iconic in my opinion and is basically a woman who's cursed to have her neck grow in an incredible length. This ad features one in one of the best practical effects I've seen concerning this yokai, especially considering the age of the ad, but anyway, it's pretty creepy. Saki Sanobashi. Saki Sanobashi, or Go for a Punch, is a possibly lost media anime that a 4chan user describes as featuring several high school girls being trapped in a bathroom and then begin to commit suicide. The user explains that the girls are trapped long enough that they begin to starve and eventually all kill themselves by either bashing their heads into the floor or scratching their necks until they bleed out. One girl apparently asks another to drown her because she couldn't bring herself to do it. The user says that they cried themselves to sleep after watching it and were traumatized. However, no such anime has been found, and apart from some faked and fan videos, there really isn't any evidence that it ever existed. I do love these kinds of things though, because it's probably a fabricated video, but I would be so hyped if it actually was found, just because it's been so long that people have been looking for it. Skins 2017 Skins is a weird-ass art film that shows the personal stories of several characters all associated with or having deformities of varying kinds. One girl has no eyes, like, it's just blank skin. 
One kid wants to remove his legs so that he can become a mermaid, and probably the weirdest is a girl who has an anus where her mouth should be, and her mouth where her anus should be. She literally has a butthole for her mouth, and her chin looks like little butt cheeks. Plus, they go one step further by having pubic hair around it. I mean, come on. Well, that's only a couple of examples. There are some other characters with other issues, but you get the idea. Slugs. Slugs is a horror film about killer slugs who eat people alive. What more do you need to know? Spliced. Spliced is a cartoon about a mad scientist who created mutants, mix and match critters, and other biological abominations that stood against all notions of sanity and common sense. He gets arrested for his crimes against nature, and with their master forever gone from their lives, the genetic hybrids and oddities he made with only limited knowledge of the outside world and its customs are left to form a society of their own. Of course, hilarity ensues. SpongeBob Sick Pants. SpongeBob Sick Pants is a Newgrounds animation featuring SpongeBob and Patrick being deranged psychopaths, randomly killing people and constantly vomiting. At one point, Spongebob cuts a fish's head off and makes a Krabby Patty out of it. Also, Squidward kills himself and his corpse begins to fester. Spookies. Spookies is a cult classic horror film that, in contrast to a lot of the more messed up movies on this list, is actually a pretty goofy fun time. It follows a group of partying teenagers who find an abandoned mansion and become trapped inside as a warlock tries to sacrifice the group with the intention of using their vitality to keep his wife alive. The warlock uses a Ouija board to summon all kinds of ghosts and ghouls like muckmen, small reptiles, reptilian demons, giant spiders, an arachnid woman, an octopus-like creature with electric tentacles, a skeletal witch, a grim reaper statue, a vampiric boy in a monk's outfit, and a large group of zombies. No, seriously, that's the name of the movie. It's a 70s body horror movie where Mad Doctor, Dr. Stoner, takes on a new assistant, David. The doctor begins a series of injections on David that slowly turn him into a snake-like humanoid. The doctor's daughter develops feelings for David and tries to put a stop to the experiments once she realizes what's going on. The movie ends super abruptly. Eventually, David fully transforms into a King Cobra and is being attacked by a mongoose when the police show up and can't get a good shot. Well, the daughter screams and the movie just ends. Right there. It just is. So we have no idea what happens. Everything about this movie is kind of weird, from the title to the ending. Swallow. Swallow is kind of an interesting film about a woman who develops an impulse to eat inedible objects. She starts off with a marble and then a thumbtack and batteries. The messed up thing is she's pregnant, so when they go in for an ultrasound, the doctor's like, what is all this shit in here that's not a baby? Anyway, this progresses to the point where she chokes on a screwdriver and barely survives, and the film ends with her having an abortion in a public bathroom. So all smiles and fun here. Taxidermia. Okay, we are really getting into some strange movies on this tier, and this one is a lot to explain, but I'll try to break it down quickly. The film sort of has three parts, the first following an orderly who lives a wretched existence of servitude beneath the heel of his lieutenant. He has bizarre fantasies that sometimes become real and is just an altogether creepo. At one point he has a fantasy that he's banging his lieutenant's wife, while in reality he's having anal sex with a dead pig. Well, that's a sentence I didn't think I'd say today. Anyway, the lieutenant kills him upon seeing this, but but weirdly enough, his wife gives birth to a baby boy with a pig's tail. So I guess he somehow psychically impregnated her while having sex with the pig? I don't know. So anyway, they cut the pigtail off the baby and fast forward a couple decades and now this boy's grown up to be a prize speed eater and even as a coach and enters speed eating competitions. Well, there's a whole story here about him and his wife and how they got together, but essentially they have a son who, unlike his two larger parents, is very pale and skinny. He works as a taxidermist and lives a somewhat miserable life caring for for his father, who's now so large that he's just stuck in a chair in his apartment with his cats. Well, the son and father get into a heated fight, and the son basically says F you and leaves, vowing to never return. After a few days, he feels bad and heads back to his father's apartment, only to find him dead with all of his innards poured out on the floor, and his body being eaten by his cats. Now the skinny son is so depressed that he locks himself in a homemade surgical harness, and through the use of sedatives, painkillers, and a heart lung machine, begins removing his own internal organs, pumping his body full of preservatives and sewing himself up. He activates the machine that decapitates him, leaving behind a preserved statue. His body is displayed in an exhibit alongside the cats and his father. I went into more detail on this one than usual, but it's such a weird movie just chock full of gross stuff that I felt like I had to explain the whole thing. The Beach House the Beach House is a film about two couples staying at a beach house when the water begins having a weird texture and a mysterious fog rolls in. Basically what happens is that because of global warming, certain ancient microbes have been released from deep in the ocean that now cause an infection that causes people to turn into mutants. The mutant stuff is more toward the end of the movie, but there is a cringy scene where the main protagonist has a big worm crawl into an open wound on her foot, which she has to cut out of herself. It's a pretty cool concept and seems a little bit inspired by Lovecraft. The Butcher's Hook. This is a very dark short film featuring many 
many dead animals being displayed in grotesque detail both in jars and otherwise. Eventually, a man's head is attached to a skeleton with really eerie music and animation. The interesting thing about this short is that it was actually lost media for a short amount of time when a Redditor reached out trying to find it. The real weird part is that he originally saw it when it aired on Nickelodeon in the 90s. Why the hell did Nickelodeon air this? I mean, then again, this was the 90s and gross out stuff was very popular at the time for this demographic. But all aside, it's actually a pretty interesting short and worth a watch on YouTube since it's only six minutes long. The Cry of Man. The Cry of Man is actually pretty unique. It was a mystery horror comedy show on Adult Swim that actually streamed live so that the viewers could call in and talk to the cast, which I don't believe has been done, or at least if it has, I haven't heard of such a thing. Basically, a patriarch of the rich man family, oil magnet Tank Man, disappears, and the family begins falling apart with the help of a mysterious villain. Besides some demonic possession, there's a character named Jack who turns into a grotesque orange muscle monster with a disgusting festering ear. The man in the lower left corner of the photo Photograph. This is another creepy one from Robert Morgan, creator of D is for Deloused. It's actually much older than the other videos I mentioned, but still amazing in terms of animation. The two-part film follows a really creepy, lonely guy who feeds raw meat to a pet maggot he keeps in a drawer. He looks through a hole in the wall at his neighbor, a gross-looking woman who hangs herself. Later, the woman crawls out from under his bed as a half-maggot-looking monstrosity, and I guess the two are into each other? I don't know. The Muse ARG. This is one hell of a rabbit hole and one of the more comical and specific ARGs I've ever heard of, but basically, the Muse ARG is a story that spans several YouTube channels and websites. The main character is Alex Bale, a YouTuber who struck gold with his Spongebob conspiracy theories. By the third conspiracy video, though, it's revealed that Alex has been feeding a monster in his garage raw meat in exchange for video ideas. In the fourth video, Alex laments just being known as the Spongebob guy, but when he confronts his monster, the Muse, the Muse says he's only managed to gain popularity because of its help and refusing it would ruin him. Basically, the Muse then begins taking over more and more of Alex's life. It's a really interesting horror story dealing with the classic struggle of an artist finding the balance between creating new art versus the tired but popular work. The Trapdoor. The Trapdoor was a British claymation show that first aired in 1984. The show is set in a haunted castle owned by an unseen creature known only as the Thing Upstairs. A blue blob named Burke lives in the castle's lower floors and does his master's bidding. The titular trapdoor is a big wooden trapdoor in the castle's floor, leading to a massive underground cave system full of monsters. At least once an episode, the trapdoor opens up and releases a monster for Burke and his friends to deal with, which causes chaos around the castle. The Void. When Sheriff Deputy Carter discovers a blood-soaked man limping down a deserted road, he rushes him to a local hospital with a bare-bones night shift staff. As cloaked cult-like figures surround the building, the patients and staff inside start to turn ravenously insane. Trying to protect the survivors, Carter leads them into the depths of the hospital where basically a portal to hell has opened up and monsters start to come out of. So you get the idea. Walls fall out. Walls Fall Out is a hard one to explain, but it's basically a really bizarre music video that shows a series of deformed people with a face deep faked onto them singing the song. I really can't explain it, and it kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies to be honest, but some people say it's a masterpiece, so watch it at your own discretion. You Need Me. You Need Me is a very strange video that appears to take place in Gary's Mod. It shows the player running from a shadowy creature that repeats You Need Me with multiple voices from the distance. Finally, the creature reveals itself to be a version of G-Man from Half-Life, only with multiple heads that sport elongated necks and a spider-like body. Blessed are the meek. Blessed Are the Meek is episode 12 of the highly obscure and highly fucked up web series called Father Tucker, the Child Fucker. And yes, it's an entire series about a Catholic priest molesting children. So, yeah, that's fun. In this episode, Father Tucker announces the opening of a new children's hospital where he starts to... Well, you get the idea. But at one point in the episode, it randomly cuts to him delivering a baby. And I don't mean he delivers someone else's baby. He actually shits out a baby. It's probably one of the most vile web animations I've covered as far as twisted humor goes, right up there with Alfred's Playhouse. Sweet Dreams. Sweet Dreams is an animated stop-motion short about a little boy who's trying to sleep when a pair of creepy gargoyles enter his room and begin to torment him. Vikinter Games Vikinter is an indie game developer whose games often feature twisted settings that seem like something from Hellraiser with fleshy, torture, body part, crucifix madness. Making Friends. This is referring to an episode of the Nickelodeon series Making Friends in which two characters smash into each other and find that their bodies have now been conjoined. Okay, so now we're moving into tier six, Ballface. Ballface is a YouTube video that popped up a few years back and it seems like it always comes back into circulation every once in a while. 
The video shows a mysterious floating fleshy orb with a very creepy face in various rooms, but always seemingly stalking the viewer. Art the General Art the General is a very bizarre web animation that is kind of based on The Simpsons, but it's kind of its own thing and a complete mind screw. The basic gist is that a random guy with a New Zealand accent shows up and takes over Homer Simpson's life and kicks him out of his own home. Anytime there's a close-up on a character, they look grotesque, and this is exhibited when Homer gets hit in the face with a brick and his face breaks open and starts spewing blood. Crabs Crabs is a recent film about horseshoe crabs that begin eating people after they become radiated from a nuclear power plant collapsing. There's not much to say about this one, it's a pretty standard monster flick and an homage to horror movies of the kind from the 70s and 80s. Eat My Shit Eat My Shit is the short film precursor to Skins, which was one of the entries on the last tier. It features the same woman from Skins who has an anus for a mouth, and in this short, she orders soup at a restaurant, which she pours into a funnel that leads to her ass, which I guess we can assume has a mouth. Well, I know what you're thinking. If she eats through her ass, does that mean she defecates from her face? Well, this short film kind of answers that question for all of us. After the waitress laughs at her, the woman then takes a shit out of her asshole mouth onto the bill. It's really disgusting, and you can find it on YouTube, so if you want to freak out your friends, there you go. Goodbye to the Dolphin's Dream Goodbye to the Dolphin's Dream is a screamer site and considered to be one of the things you should never Google. The site was very odd and was essentially made to promote a musical artist's experimental music. The main page features several black boxes that all do different things when clicking on them, but mostly it features very strange music that a lot of people have described as pure ear rape. But the reason it's in this iceberg is because when you first open the site, a girl with pink hair named Aruka says in a lovely voice, please go ahead after killing me. If you start clicking on her illustration, she violently disintegrates and strangely she'll regenerate too. The strangest thing you notice after killing her is that her blood pool is in the shape of a dolphin probably referencing the site's title. Gorgeous Vortex So, as far as I understand, Gorgeous Vortex is a short film that was originally cut from the anthology film VHS Viral, and probably for good reason because of how far it deviates from the series, both in cinematography and general storytelling, mostly because Gorgeous Vortex doesn't actually use the found footage style, which is the staple of the franchise. Anyway, it's hard to explain because it doesn't make much sense and is out of order, but basically this woman seems to be tracked by a secret organization, there's random footage of women being tortured that pops up, and it all culminates with the woman meeting a really strange looking twisted creature. You can find the full thing on YouTube, so just go watch it and maybe you can make heads or tails of it. Horace in Slow Motion Horace in Slow Motion is a really strange kids show that follows Horace, a pig, doing various physical comedy bits that always slow down so you can see his flabby body in all its bouncy glory. The thing is, Horace looks pretty much like a human except his face and ears. That and the gross body stuff Horace does, along with the low-budget CGI, make it a recipe for creepy. Jack, a story from the past. This is a really obscure one. It's actually a video by OG YouTuber Amazing Phil from 2007 and is a very low grade animation about a character named Jack that has multiple arms, which only makes his life harder. Last Days of Humanity Okay, well, where do we start with this one? Last Days of Humanity is a gore grind band from the Netherlands. Their sound is mostly composed of relentless blast beats and short songs about gory actions. The album covers alone are very disturbing as they're typically real photographs of horribly mutilated corpses, like a body with a brain out of its cranial box or a mutilated man's corpse. But the lyrics can be seen as even more disturbing. I'll read out some of the darker lyrics, but I will warn you, as far as descriptions go, this is probably the most brutal and disturbing of the iceberg so far, so fair warning. These are lyrics from the song Necrophile that describe exactly what you think it does. Hear the sound, the seal is broken, the body bag now open, the swarming infected mass discovered, putrefied stench in the nose, nauseous vomit in the throat, the remainings of the pussy spread wide open, the dick in the mass, embrace the dead. Yeah, so that's a song about someone banging a corpse. Next is from the song Child Butchering. Highly pregnant, she walks into the supermarket. In the toilet, she delivers her baby, the new life form. She puts it in a bag and smashes it against the wall. Bones are broken, body parts separated, blood and slime flow together. The whole porridge she then throws in a dustbin. A few times she did, she slayed a few of her children. A few times she slayed her own flesh and blood before she was caught by the authorities. Yeah, so that's pretty fucked up too. Okay, so this next one is 
easily the most disturbing. So once again, fair warning, if you wanna skip ahead about 30 seconds, but this one is called Disgusting Sexual Lust. Innocent and gentle, she lies in the crib, probably her own little paradise after the womb. Then it happened, it hurts. Her legs spread wide open, her little bones now broken. Her virginity is lost, her entrails severely damaged. Her blood is flowing out, she cries, she screams. That's how he slays that sick pig called father with his dick and his own baby. Her just starting life is flowing away. An extremely deformed little cadaver is all that remains. Uh, somehow that one was the most unsettling thing on this iceberg so far, and it's just song lyrics, but to each his own, I suppose. Let's, uh, let's, let's try to move on from that one. Lloyd's Lunchbox. Lloyd's Lunchbox is a really twisted animated short where a character performs disturbing acts of bodily injury on himself. The short is structured into seven days starting with Monday when he sneezes his own brain out and continuing through the week with each day featuring more gross out injuries. It definitely falls into the cringy category. On one day he rips his fingernails out and on another he stretches his eyelids out and cuts them with scissors then doing the same with his lips and the underside of his tongue. It's animated body horror at its best. Lobotomy. Lobotomy is a very disturbing black and white stop motion video posted to YouTube 16 years ago, and despite the low res quality, holds up as being sufficiently creepy. Mandatory Madness. Mandatory Madness is a Newgrounds Flash animation that features a lone man taking on an entire organization, slaying hundreds in various and brutal ways. It's really a blast from the past because it's just got that classic Newgrounds style that I enjoyed so much from back in the day. Meat Product, Life Meat. This is a pretty cool analog horror short that plays like an infomercial for a new product called Life Meat, which is meant to be a meat alternative for the future. However, 10 years after being put on the market, the product begins killing people. A newspaper clipping in the short says reports have been made of abnormal swelling skin and muscle deformation, mud mucus, and in most cases, severe illness and or death upon consuming Life Meat. At one point in the video, it cuts to home footage and we see a human arm on the ground covered in blood with the rest of the body out of view. Suddenly the arm deforms for a half second before it cuts away. It's really well done and stands out among some of the more cookie cutter analog horrors we've been seeing. Nintendo A Sad Story Nintendo A Sad Story is an animated short film from over a decade ago that is truly bizarre. It begins with dirty looking Mario putting some kind of dangerous pill into a drink which he brings on a tray to another room. In this room we see Shigeru Miyamoto in his underwear playing his Wii. As Mario approaches, Miyamoto's body contorts and he's about to attack when Mario begins playing what I think is an ocarina which puts Miyamoto to sleep. While he's sleeping, Mario forces the liquid from earlier into his mouth. He then heads upstairs where a severely deformed Princess Peach sits in a room themed like a Mario level. Before they can escape, Miyamoto appears wearing a Bowser costume, and following behind him is none other than Reggie, who grabs Mario and puts him in a pipe where he beats him mercilessly while we see garbled footage of Reggie presenting the Wii to the world. Miyamoto has a change of heart and picks up an original NES, smashing Reggie on the head repeatedly and killing him. Unfortunately, the pill Mario gave Miyamoto kicks in and he dies. Mario, now severely deformed from the beatings, grabs the bottle of pills and downs it, dying next to Miyamoto. I mean, wow. The fact that someone put this much effort into an allegory as a way of critiquing Nintendo at the time, it's kind of awesome. Props to the creator Graham Young for this one. Octocad Adventure Octocat is a series of fast-paced, crudely animated shorts featuring a cat with eight legs. The most interesting thing about this series is that the episodes are typically less than a minute and, like I said, very crudely drawn, and then all of a sudden in the last episode, the animation kicks it up to 10 and it becomes very well produced. The videos can be kind of annoying, but it's worth it for that change up in part five. Smile. Smile is another old web animation that shows a man standing on a high platform. In front of him are a panel of smiling people and a large screen above him simply says smile. As he tries to conjure up a smile, the smiling people press buttons that shoot large metal spikes into his body. He eventually is impaled with several of the spikes and falls down to his death, after which the smiling people just start partying. SpongeBob makes a Krabby Patty. Spongebob Makes a Krabby Patty is an animated YouTube video where Spongebob makes Patrick a Krabby Patty, although his process of doing so is not what you'd expect. He grabs a random person and lays them on a table where he cuts their stomach open and removes the intestines. Then he cuts off their head and hangs their body on a hook, which he begins slashing open with a sword. He then cooks the innards of the person up and serves them on a Krabby Patty to Patrick, who thoroughly enjoys it. 
All the while, the camera zooms in on a missing person. The ending I remember. This is a creepypasta about Toy Story 3 where some version of the movie supposedly existed where the toys were not saved from going into the incinerator and instead melt as they scream in terror. The Real Thomas the Train Man. The Real Thomas the Train Man is a psychedelic YouTube video where Thomas is a train made out of human flesh with a nipple on top of his back spurting milk and a puckering butthole producing a strange liquid. As he strains to chug along, his intestines rip out of him, and he freaks as the screen flashes red. Well, that's a weird one. The State of Loss and Woe I believe this is referring to this strange YouTube video that shows a man dying and going to hell, where he's brutally tortured in various ways, like having molten lava being poured all over his body. All the while, a song describing all of this is being sung by a choir in the background. What the hell is this? I mean, who made this? The strangest video ever. This is a YouTube video that lives up to its name and lingers around the weird side of YouTube. It's really just a series of animated shorts, each one being only a few seconds long, and for the most part these are just silly and creative videos. However, there are some more disturbing parts like the queen pulling her skull out of her face or a poodle being sawed in half. All the while, upbeat 8-bit style music plays in the background. In my opinion, this is a YouTube classic and you should just go watch it if you're into weird YouTube. The Thomas & Friends Institute of Innovation the Thomas & Friends Institute of Innovation is a film produced by Studio Hansa between 2013 and 2014. Apparently it was created to promote Thomas & Friends to commissioners and merchandising partners worldwide. The film hasn't actually been released to the general public and is likely to remain confidential, although brands can arrange for private viewings. It features two scientists experimenting with improvements to Thomas the Tank Engine. These experiments include Thomas being tested and growing limbs, Percy being injected with Botox, and Sir Topham Hat using steroids. I'm kind of on the fence on to whether this is legitimately associated with Thomas and Friends or just a hoax, but either way, it's one of the more interesting lost media examples I've heard of recently. Very, very old demo reel. And to finish it up, this is a, well, it's a demo reel by an FX artist that features mostly really disturbing looking humanoids dancing, among other things. It's really weird and really cool. 115.avi 115.avi is an extremely obscure and cryptic Russian YouTube video that features strange animation and jarring audio. Everything's in monochrome, and we see Russian text on the screen with random animated images flashing in and out, including a severed head and a finger. I was pretty curious what the text in the video meant, and since the video is rather obscure, I just manually input the text into Google Translate. First of all, the description of the video reads, Fear, Schizophrenia, Why Does Everyone Keep Silent, Only You? Psychedelic, Everything Will Be Fine. Well, I'm glad you say so. Anyway, the video starts with the text, You Just Don't Notice. Then after some quick animation flashes and some creepy sudden sounds, we get some more text simply stating, Fear is Natural. There's a very quick flash that says SOS and then more text saying stranger in this room and a very quick flash and by quick I mean one single frame that says human curiosity has no limits. We're then shown a man shifting around violently and for a single frame a phrase appears on his chest that reads the problem lies within the body. A key is shown opening a door where we see an ethereal white being that flashes at an intensity that could definitely cause seizures and sporadic words pop up like why and are you and keep back. Then in a very fast flurry we see 2012 problems and we want help. Finally everything will be fine. It's an interesting video and feels like an analog horror only made 12 years ago. I have to say, we're on the bottom tier now, and I'm definitely feeling it when the first entry right out of the gate is a 12-year-old Russian video with only 9,000 views. 3D example of dogs simply spinning around. So this is a 3D example of a dog simply spinning around. I mean, the title really does say it all. It also shows the dog as only muscle and then as only bone, but honestly, this one's just for the yucks. 62.104.155.44.6433124.459908986646413 This is a very mysterious YouTube video that is honestly kind of hard to explain, but it shows a lot of strange imagery, most of which is taken from the stop motion film The Adventures of Mark Twain. There's several audio clips that play throughout, including what sounds like a 911 phone call. There's also some stills of what looks like a forest trail. The video has no description and the channel name is just another random series of numbers. 
My first thought was that the channel title was coordinates, so I entered the numbers as latitude and longitude on Google Earth and it took me to a random patch of forest in the Netherlands. I can't tell if this is random or not, but either way I searched the area for anything mysterious. I was surprised to find that there was actually a road nearby that I could travel along using Street View. This area actually does look very similar to the stills of the forest trail in the video. So I painstakingly traveled along the road circling the forest. The closest spot where you can actually see the area where the coordinates are is across a lake and I didn't really see anything. Honestly, the only strange thing I found was a trail leading into the forest that I couldn't access through Street View, but did get a glimpse of what looks like a creepy old abandoned shack inside. Anyway, the video is creepy, weird, and mysterious, and probably just randomly edited together to send dummies like me on wild goose chases. A lovely day to see Garfield. This is actually considered lost media now, but was supposedly an MS Paint animation uploaded in 2012 by Spaz Kid that featured John murdering Garfield and maniacally laughing. Garfield's ghost then teleports John to a world where every character in the Garfield universe is having sex with each other. Terrified, John runs away but is hit by a car while this time Garfield laughs. It sounds truly bizarre and was taken down from YouTube due to the nudity and gore. The creator, Spaz Kid, apparently re-uploaded the animation several times until eventually his account was banned and with it every uploaded copy of the animation. Babies Making Babies Babies Making Babies is a lost animation that was apparently a slideshow that showcased porn images with baby faces poorly edited onto them. That sounds partly body horror and mostly really freaking weird. Banjo Gyro Okay, so Banjo Gyro is an animated short film, I guess you could call it that. It features Bill, Sammy, and Finger, three fast food workers who form a team in order to fight demons. By the way, doesn't Sammy look a lot like Zack Woods? Anyway, that's besides the point. It's an 11 minute video and I won't go through it beat by beat, but it's really insane. It all starts when a particularly strange customer comes in and Sammy thinks it's a demon. And from there, it really goes off the rails. What I like about this video is that it's in the same category of strange 3D animated YouTube and kind of reminds me of Jimmy Neutron Happy Family Happy Hour, except it's almost in its own league for a couple of reasons. One being that the character models actually look pretty good. If someone told me they were from a cartoonish PS2 game, I'd believe them. And overall, the amount of effort put into something so stupid is really admirable. Like the fact that almost every piece of voiceover sounds off and out of place. Like every sentence is said in a way that sounds like someone cut it together from bits of other sentences. I actually can't find much about the creator, Grady Sane, other than a YouTube channel that I'm not even sure is actually his. But props for the creative and fucked up mind it takes to come up with something like this. Cursed Things Remastered This is actually a YouTube playlist, which is kind of a unique entry at this point, and I can't really dissect the whole thing because it's got over 1600 videos on it, most of which are just memes or comedy videos, but there are some disturbing videos mixed in there. Demon Milk Or maybe Demon Milik? Demon Milk is just this strange picture of a 3D rendering of Toadstool, only he's altered in kind of a dark and creepy way. It's hard to explain, but it's just an eerie picture. Dreams I Had This is probably the most meta entry on the iceberg, as it's referring to dreams or nightmares just in general. It's basically just talking about dreams and their tendency to get very surreal or off-putting, especially in terms of body horror. Heroes Save the World Heroes Save the World is a web novel about 100 teenagers all around the world suddenly getting superpowers. One of the main characters, Simon Martin, is given the ability to see when people will die by touching them. The story practically begins with body horror. In chapter 1, Simon has a vision of a forest of bodies suspended, twisted, and grotesque wiry shapes. Simon dubs them Geiger Trees. The series deals with the fact that these teens are possibly more of a danger to the world than a help, and each chapter goes into the details of different teens, so it's worth a read. Kevin's Computer is a YouTube channel featuring animated videos that are usually comical and short in length, and feature outlandish characters, including one video where a character eats a strange object that then transforms into a larger version of that object. But forget about the body horror here, forget about the iceberg, go freaking subscribe to this guy's channel. It's, it's really a tragedy that he doesn't have more subs, because I think his animation style completely stands out and deserves a lot more attention. You can watch all the videos he has posted in like 5 minutes, so just go check it out if you're into unique animated content. Killer Poyo. Killer Poyo, or Killer Chicken, is a series of animated videos where the titular character, Killer Poyo, fights various enemies, often killing them in brutal ways. All these videos are over 10 years old and the website doesn't work, but it's interesting to see the progression of the series as the animation gets slightly better with every video. Killing Pinky Starlight. 
Killing Pinky Starlight is an obscure, poorly made flip-a-clip animation where the titular Pinky Starlight, if I'm not wrong it's based on a cringe user, gets stabbed with a knife multiple times both in the boobs and vagina. It's really silly and Dripcat even said he added it just for the lols. La Morte de Fernanflu, Animacion de Terror 3D. This is a 3D animated short based on the Salvadorian YouTuber Fernanflu. I didn't really know about this guy, but he does a lot of gaming and reaction videos and always wears a Luigi hat. Anyway, in this video, he's strapped down as Jason Voorhees slowly approaches and beheads him. Shortly after this, a really creepy screamer image pops up on the screen. Laughs. Laughs is a 14 year old YouTube video that shows what looks like some kind of fleshy organisms while intercutting a picture of a weird looking man with a strange smile. There are some kind of goofy edits and really loud audio scares as well. One thing I love about this tier in particular is just all the decade old videos from the golden age of YouTube that I would have never heard of otherwise. Licky Licky. This is a weird fan art of Raichu whose tail has a mouth on the end of it and it's licking him. Huh, wonder what he does with that. Meet Bob. Meat Bob is a Russian animated web series featuring a character who dies in various ways as a way of displaying the effects of some actions. As of right now, and probably forever considering the series is 5 years old, there are only 5 episodes. Bob jumps from 10,000 miles, Bob ate 10 kilograms of chocolate, Bob is burned alive, and Bob blew up 50 kilograms of fireworks. All displaying Bob's horrific demise. Motherfucker King ZJ well, this one was hard to find, but I eventually traced it back to a TikTok account that has some of the most wild animation videos on it. It's nothing really that disturbing, but it does feature a lot of strange imagery, and for whatever reason, a lot of it has to do with Mickey Mouse or Disney. Night Factor Films Night Factor Films is a YouTube channel created by Marcus Infante that features a real mixed bag of content, including live action and animated videos. One video titled Clay Gore shows a clay humanoid brutally killing several other clay creatures, including ripping one's ribcage out of its chest. There's another animated video that has a guy with a really creepily long neck that extends that kind of reminds me of that one yokai. The channel also has some homages to old horror movies and a video of Bigfoot fighting a bear. Wait, what? No, that's right. That is in fact Bigfoot fighting a bear. Spongebob Gore Spongebob Gore is a subreddit dedicated to putting blood and gore into scenes from Spongebob. This works really well since Spongebob is already a pretty violent show, only in a very light and cartoonish way, so even just adding blood on top of some of these scenes looks really brutal. Regular Hell Regular Hell is a comical edit of Regular Show where Rigby dies then becomes a demon that starts killing off the other characters. It actually made me laugh because it's not that far from a real episode and the character swearing along with the added gore is pretty great. Team Smithereen Team Smithereen was a really strange series of shorts that aired on Disney XD and features a team of odd looking creatures who end up suffering horrible stunts. Something about the elastic nature of the puppets makes this kind of creepy, and also, what the hell is that thing? The Asylum for Shut-Ins Video Psychotherapy So this is actually a website that's all based around the mysterious character known simply as the Doctor, who is a sadistic, power-mad ventriloquist dummy who administers doses of mind-bending video ultraviolence and savage social commentary. He delivers his demented therapy with machine gun-like collages of horror movie clips. Each video is centered around a different topic, like religion, torture, and nightmares, and features the Doctor going on a monologue while we see very fast-paced clips of violence, gore, and war footage. This one is pretty interesting and makes me wonder whether it was meant to be funny or actually a strange attempt at mind control. Either way, I find it really fascinating, and the videos are actually oddly addictive. I ended up watching every video on the site's main page without even realizing it. If you're sensitive to flashing lights or quick-paced imagery, maybe skip this one out, but otherwise definitely check the website out. The Cartoon Man the Cartoon Man is a horror villain originating from the tragedy at Toontown Creepypasta written by Freaky Attractions. There's a narrated version of the Creepypasta on Freaky Attractions' YouTube page that I would recommend listening to, but I'll try to sum it up quickly here. Basically, the story follows a man who's working at Disney World. One night after a long shift, he was passing through Toontown and believes he sees a figure with a bushy tail at night. The next day, the staff find a mutilated rat with its blood smeared across Minnie Mouse's house. That night, while the man was finishing taking out the trash, he notices that Minnie's refrigerator door is open through the window. So he goes to shut the door and finds a dead human baby inside. He then sees a man-like thing with a tail run past the window. After the police show up, he sees the figure in the distance, and it appears to be a man who has altered his face to resemble a cartoon character with a hideous protruding snout. 
In part two of the story, we get even more details and a close-up look at the cartoon man. After the man from the first story seeks him out and finds the cartoon man living in a shack in the forest behind the Magic Kingdom. In the shack, the cartoon man has a shrine made with hundreds of photos of children taking pictures with Goofy. We also get a better look at him and see that he has, in fact, surgically attached a snout to his face to look more like Goofy and has also attached a tail to himself that's made up of several other small animal tails, as well as filing down his teeth to be sharper. So you kind of get the idea. There are four parts as of right now, and I'd recommend either watching the narrated videos or reading them on Reddit, especially since by part four there's some more transformation to the cartoon man where it starts getting to a supernatural level. The Chicken Nugget Murder the Chicken Nugget Murder was a joke web animation where Trollface killed the cast of Chicken Nugget. Just a refresher, Chicken Nugget is a web series of cute critters and comedy shorts. A lot of weird and disgusting stuff happens, including an image of a baby with Harlequin ichthyosis, and if you don't know what that is, don't Google it, unless you want to be really freaked out and really sad. The Chicken Nugget Murder is actually lost media now, so unfortunately I can't show it to you. The Green Elephant. Um... So, The Green Elephant is probably one of the most disturbing films on this iceberg. It's essentially about two Russian prisoners in a cell and follows them slowly going insane. Now, this doesn't sound so bad, and honestly, the first half of the film isn't even really that graphic and pretty funny, but it all goes downhill after the midpoint of the film when one of the men gets naked and shits on the only plate the prisoners share for food and begins rubbing it on his belly and eating it. This scene is way too detailed, and I have to say, well, it gets worse from here. The captain ends up taking these men to the basement where he subjects them to acts of humiliation, including forced oral sex. Driven to insanity from this, one of the men beats the captain with a pipe and bites off his face before sodomizing him and tearing out his trachea. He then plays with the dead captain's trachea by making his now insane cellmate blow into it, pretending that it's an elephant's trunk. He then slits his own wrists and bleeds out. A guard shows up and also has gone insane and hangs himself. The thing is, this is all filmed on a home video recorder and it feels like found footage, especially since the actors actually have great performances and as I've mentioned in the Japanese horror movie Iceberg, sometimes not understanding the language helps with the horror. Altogether, that makes it feel very real. What's really crazy is that this movie basically was made on no budget and the director had the actors improvise most of it. Apparently, the actors were pretty uncomfortable with certain scenes, and the director even admits to a form of brainwashing in which he convinced the cast to do it, even offering to do everything himself first. This is all made worse when you find out they used actual pig's blood and guts in the final scene. Also, it's hard to know if I'm getting this exactly right due to the little information and possible translation problems, but from what I've read, the actor playing the guard actually is hanging himself in the shot, and the director said it took 20 minutes to revive him. What the fuck? If you include those production details, this might be the most disturbing film on the iceberg. The Super Deep Anomalies and Mystery Iceberg I've never really seen an iceberg as an entry on another iceberg till now, but yeah, the Super Deep Anomalies and Mysteries Iceberg is definitely worth checking out and has a lot of body horror in it, so... Yeah, it's kind of Iceberg Inception here, because if you put an iceberg into another iceberg, and then you put the original iceberg into that iceberg, you'd then cause an iceberg paradox. And boy, I would hate for that to happen to anyone. Anyway, I wouldn't mind making an explanation for the Super Deep Anomalies Iceberg video if anyone's interested. Three songs that suddenly stop but never end. This is a video that is sort of posted as if it's a short film, although I actually think it's just an edit of several other videos combined. I'm not really sure about that. It's very random and starts off with two people having sex. A lot of it is just close-ups of this crazy guy's face, and eventually he appears to be holding what looks like human innards and starts licking them. It's a really uncomfortable video to watch, although it's hard to explain exactly why. Tits ass. Well, so... Tits Ass is a web animation about a man who has tits for an ass. It's actually probably one of the most hilarious entries and had me laughing throughout the whole thing. The animation is done through Microsoft Paint and the video is self-narrated by Tits Ass, who has been called Tits Ass for so long that he just goes by Tits Ass now. I have to give props to the creator because usually the dialogue is the weakest point of these types of videos, but this guy just kills it and it seems like he's improvising the whole thing. Anyway, I don't think I've ever said tits or ass so much in one paragraph. Toy.avi So this entry is linked to a post on the Creepypasta Brazil website, and the post describes a video called Toy.avi, and this is how the post describes the video. 
The video appears to be old, like it belongs on a VHS tape. I'm sure of it, as it has those effects of damaged tapes and also because the sound is horrible. The music seems to be an old piano sound mixed with a baby crying desperately in pain. Explaining the video itself is not easy. It shows someone cutting a hand with a small knife. It looks very real. When the hand is almost separated from the wrist, the person who is cutting it then decides to break the bones of the severed hand in a very violent way. The second part of the video is not easy to understand. It looks like someone is playing with a brain in a childish way. There's blood everywhere, and to be honest, it scared the shit out of me. I'm feeling awful as I write this, and I really need to rest after everything I've seen. So yeah, this does sound really disturbing, and he actually links a download to the video in the post, and a link to YouTube. Unfortunately, the YouTube video is taken down due to gore, and I'll be honest, I'm a little nervous downloading the video willy-nilly from an unsecure website, so if anyone wants to give it a try, you can download it, but seems a little dicey to me. Unhappy Suicidal Friends This is a really strange animation on YouTube that seems like a strange parody of Happy Tree Friends, and is just a video of a furry critter stabbing itself in the eye repeatedly. That's literally the whole video. Wubsysuicide666.win this is a lost episode creepypasta created by Devin Miller under his I'm so sorry please forgive me.mp4 alias in 2014. The story goes that he ordered a VHS tape of a lost episode of a children's animated series that aired of Nick Jr. known as Wow Wow Wubsy. Supposedly the episode starts off with Ukrainian text and a bleeding mouth located at the bottom. Then it cuts to Wubsy playing with his kickball without any title screen or opening logos. This goes on until he suddenly starts crying with black eyes and proceeds to don a cloak over himself. Then out of nowhere he starts to bang his head against a rock until his forehead starts bleeding. The viewer is then exposed to all of his friends running away so as to avoid getting hung by whatever mysterious force is hanging them in the first place. After the bloody event, Daisy goes on to kill everyone in the town of Wesselburg where the series is mostly set in, to which she jump scares the viewer at the same time while massacring everyone. Of course, in typical creepypasta fashion, the murders are bloody, gory, and hyper-realistic. The rest of the episode shows real-life footage and some scary edits sprinkled in up until the ending, along with ending footage of a man killing himself in a hallway and then coming back to life and jump scaring the viewer with Daisy in the hallway to join the horror. The story then ends with the narrator explaining that they went to the doctor and that they were diagnosed with creepy wuzzle a disease where the person has to be killed in order to get rid of it due to the severity. As they are awaiting their death, they learn that their entire family was killed by Daisy in the real world as well. The narrator then explains that they are writing this as they are dying and that there is no longer any more help for them, ending the story there. Sleva na pravo. Okay, well, let's end this iceberg in one of my favorite categories. Really weird and Russian. Sleva na pravo is an animated short that translates to from left to right. And that's a great title for this video as the screen is constantly panning from left to right. The whole thing is really trippy. It starts with a dog howling and then running away. Next we see a liquid substance push out of holes on the wall in the same fashion you might do with Play-Doh as a kid. The liquid begins taking the form of various creatures, sometimes resembling animals and sometimes resembling weird looking people. But one of the things they all seem to do is eat things and then shit them out. No seriously, most of the video is them doing exactly that. Some of the shapes and body transformations that the creatures take is really strange looking and a little creepy, but overall this is just a great bit of entertainment and a cool showcase of classic animation. Apparently it was released in 89 and not only was the creator likely inspired by psychedelics, but it's also kind of a commentary on the Soviet Union. But I'm way out of my wheelhouse trying to figure out how. Contra. Contra is the beloved Konami side-scrolling shooter, and the series has its fair share of monstrous enemies, particularly a Neo-Contra, which is really chock full of hideous bosses, including Gigabon, the giant mutated tentacle baby head. Man, that thing's gnarly. Metal Slug. Metal Slug was always my favorite arcade shooter as a kid. It seemed more rare than a lot of the other games, and the animation and art style always stood out to me. But enough waxing nostalgic. The series mostly focuses on military tech, especially for the bosses, but it does dip into supernatural territory with clone incubators, mummies, creepy aliens like the Root Mars who have their brains exposed, and even demons. What a fun series. Mortal Kombat. 
Mortal Kombat is probably the most obvious one here, and I can't believe it wasn't on the original iceberg. The amount of brutal bodily injuries and horrific kills in this series could be an iceberg all on its own. Star Wars Saga There's a lot that could be categorized as body horror in the Star Wars Saga. Even if you don't count the aliens themselves, you still have people getting their limbs chopped off with lightsabers, Luke being shoved into a butchered tauntaun, and Anakin being almost burned alive with most of his appendages missing, and there's many more examples past that. Surrealism I believe this is referring to the genre of art itself, which makes sense considering some of the disturbing artwork coming from surrealism. Some examples are actually found elsewhere on the iceberg, like the premonition of war, but there is an endless list of off-putting body imagery in this category. Salvador Dali's The Great Masturbator, for instance. I love the title, by the way. Terminator. The false flesh ripping away to reveal the robotic T-800 underneath is body horror enough, and this is made more disturbing in Terminator Salvation when a character doesn't even realize they're a Terminator until they see the metal under their torn flesh. Imagine that revelation. The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy This series is full of dark horror tropes, and body horror is definitely one of them. Even the intro has Billy and Mandy being brought from skeleton to muscle to skin. If you really want to go deep though, the original short that Billy and Mandy is based off of called Billy and Mandy and Trepanation of the Skull and You is really disturbing. The black and white simple animation seems like something out of a lost media creepypasta and the whole premise is that Mandy has drilled a hole in her head to relieve pressure supposedly brought on by an evolutionary defect causing the brain to be too big for the skull. Mandy then convinces Billy to do the same and after drilling the hole into his head it spurts blood. A lot of blood. This short is awesome. It's one of the times I'm really thankful for this iceberg or I may never have found it. The King of Fighters. The characters Lori and Leona both have Orochi transformations which turn them more vicious and beast-like. The Passion of the Christ. Oof, didn't know we'd get into this territory. Well, in Mel Gibson's film The Passion of the Christ, Jesus is brutally beaten and tortured throughout. Probably the most jarring scene being when he is whipped with a specific kind of whip that has glass shards in the end of it. It's a pretty brutal movie and some people even consider it a torture film, which by definition it kind of is. One thing I don't hear people mention very often about this movie is that there's a really bizarre scene where what is supposedly Satan taunts Jesus and he looks like this weird small baby with a creepy ass smile. No disrespect to the actor, but that is fucking terrifying. Tokyo Ghoul Tokyo Ghoul is an anime set in an alternate reality where creatures called ghouls exist. These creatures look like normal people but can only survive by eating human flesh. The series is full of blood and gore and the ghoul transformations can be pretty wild. Also there are half ghouls which can either be born naturally as a ghoul and human's offspring or, and here's some more body horror, artificially created by transplanting some ghoul organs into a human. Aberat. Aberat is a series of books by Clive Barker, who you might recognize as the writer-director of Hellraiser and the author of The Hellbound Heart, the novella the film was based on. Aberat follows a girl named Candy who travels into a parallel world through a lighthouse meeting strange humanoid friends and foes. It's chock full of creepy stuff, including a character named John Mischief who has large antlers on his head. These antlers have seven heads protruding from them which are John's brothers. Also there's characters known as Stitchlings, zombie-like minions filled with mud, and occasionally random internal organs stitched together from random bits of old rotting flesh. And of course the antagonist whose face is surrounded by a vat of liquid in which electrical pulsing nightmares swim that come from tubes embedded in his skull. That's not even half of it. This book is crazy, dude. Back for Blood Back for Blood is a cooperative zombie shooter game and spiritual successor to Left for Dead. Like Left for Dead, the game features mutated zombies on top of the typical hordes. Each of these special type zombies are examples of body horror with heavily distorted bodies. Bojack Horseman Bojack is an adult animated comedy series, and although it doesn't usually have a lot of scares, there are some horror moments sprinkled in. Most notably, a scene where Bojack has a drug trip where he witnesses Diane transform into a nightmare abomination. The animation is great here, and she really looks grotesque. Bruce Almighty, How Many Fingers? This is a direct reference to the scene in Bruce Almighty where Bruce is having God guess how many fingers he's holding up. Eventually he's about to hold up seven, five on one hand and two on the other, but quickly changes it to five, only holding up the one hand, but when he puts his hand up he all of a sudden has seven fingers on it. It's mostly a goof, but still a little freaky. Chainsaw Man. Man, I feel like I can't stop hearing about this damn show. Chainsaw Man just suddenly infested the internet the last couple of months for some reason. Anyway, it's pretty self-explanatory. A human merges with a devil, giving him chainsaw powers. Okay, that actually sounds pretty cool. Syriac. 
Syriac is a YouTube animator that primarily manipulates images of people and animals into horror-like abominations. You've probably seen one of his videos floating around on YouTube, even if you didn't realize it. Kent J. Starrett. Kent J. Starrett is an illustrator and author whose work features a lot of horror elements, including Human Resources, his anthology book, where almost every short story is full of body horror. In Immunity, a man cultivates open wounds, grotesque hygiene, and repulsive eating habits to build up an immunity to death itself, becoming part of an inhuman conclave of like-minded abominations in the process. And in Children of Light and Darkness, there's a cellar full of human children who have been lobotomized, given limb extensions and reductions, subjected to endless skin grafts, and otherwise surgically modified by a seemingly loving foster couple. Max Goof's Nightmare In Goofy Movie, one of the best and underrated Disney films, Max has a dream about the girl he has a crush on that quickly turns into a nightmare when he begins transforming to look like an exaggerated version of his father, Goofy. It's a great scene. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I think this is on the list, if anything, for the Black Knight scene, one of the most iconic and hilarious scenes from any of the Monty Python films, where a Black Knight blocks Sir Arthur's path, refusing to yield defeat even when all of his limbs are chopped off. Pink Floyd's The Wall. You might be familiar with this song, but you might have missed the music video, in which a teacher is represented as a caricature, both with a live-action puppet and an animation. His strange appearance might be enough, but there's also a point in the video where he mashes kids into a meat grinder. It's actually a really cool video. Rourke's Death, Atlantis the Lost Empire. In Atlantis, the underrated animated film, the main antagonist, Commander Rourke, is cut with a shard of the mythical crystal known as the Heart of Atlantis. This changes Rourke's skin so that he becomes a crystal abomination right before he explodes by being hit with a propeller. Sherry S. Tepper. Sherry S. Tepper is a sci-fi and horror author whose work is just chock full of body horror. In one novel, Shadows In, in exchange for humans being permitted to live on the planet Denod, when a woman experiences her first pregnancy, she is then gang raped by a native race called the Kachis. Several Kachis grow in her womb, eating the human fetus for sustenance. In another novel, Gibbon's Decline and Fall, the main villain envisions a world where women exist in mindless, suspended animation. The only part of their body utilized is the womb, used only to produce offspring. Terraria. Terraria is full of disturbing enemies, including the face monster, floaty gross, and the wall of flesh. The Binding of Isaac. The Binding of Isaac follows a young boy whose fanatical Christian mother begins hearing the voice of God. She then strips him naked, confines him to his bedroom, and accepts a commission to kill him and sacrifice to prove her devotion. Isaac discovers her intentions and manages to escape into the basement, where, still naked, he goes on the run as he fights off nightmares, both physical and mental. The game is a real nightmare show and full of body horror because most power-ups do horrible things to you in exchange for their effects. In no particular order, you may grow tumors, become a living insect hive, acquire tons of diseases, cry blood, prop your eyes open with toothpicks, jam implants into your eyes, and so many more. The Suffering. This is one of those games I've always heard about but never played. The thing that always stood out to me was the fact that blood slowly covers the character as you play, which was really a cool concept at the time. But as far as the body horror goes, this is up there with Resident Evil and Silent Hill. The enemies are all grotesque monstrosities called malefactors, which are a collection of monsters, demons, and or human souls that embody the different types of killing that people have inflicted on one another throughout history. Damn, that's some metal shit, man. I gotta play this game. High on Life High on Life is the recently released comedy shooter developed by Squanch Games in which the protagonist, a bounty hunter, uses talking guns as weapons. One character slash gun, Creature, is the end result of amoral experimentation. He has several parts that appear to be mostly exposed nerves, especially his open-air womb slash magazine bit, and the bounty hunter has to insert their hand into him via a sphincter. He also produces offspring as ammunition. Fucking weird, dude. Bet you didn't know I was 5% salamander. This is actually in reference to a scene in the Animaniacs reboot where Wacko Warner's tail is ripped off. He then exclaims, Bet you didn't know I was 5% salamander, and his tail regrows in a particularly disgusting fashion. It really comes out of nowhere. Watermelon, a cautionary tale. This is a cute and strange animated short film based on the old wives' tale that if you swallow a watermelon seed, a watermelon will grow in your stomach. We watch as a boy deals with this exact problem, and it's more comical than horrifying. American McGee's Alice. American McGee's Alice is essentially a really dark and disturbing version of Alice in Wonderland. In this tale, Alice's family has died in a fire, of which she's the only survivor. The trauma leaves her mostly catatonic and suicidal, and she's institutionalized in an asylum. Years later, her white rabbit plush toy apparently comes to life and summons Alice to aid a radically altered Wonderland. It's a very cool premise, and I just always love it when people have dark takes on stuff like this. It's full of over-the-top blood and gore with tons of body horror as well, 
well as Alice is profoundly disturbed and this reflects in Wonderland's people. Like various deformed children running around in the school and Hatter's Asylum, some of whom have the tops of their skulls sawed off. Then there's the March Hare and the Dormouse. The March Hare is missing all of his limbs and three have been replaced with crude prosthetics. His eyes are held open by staples and his lower lip is pulled far down his face. Dormouse has his legs removed, his brain exposed, and most of his tail has been replaced by metal links. Ah, just another game I gotta sit down and play sometime. Black Swan. So before researching this, I didn't know much about Black Swan. I just knew it was some artsy film that won an Oscar a while back, but I never would have guessed that it's full of psychological terror and body horror. So slight spoilers here, but the main character, a ballerina, begins suffering hallucinations as she prepares for a performance that is breaking her psychologically. Besides some more mild but still cringy stuff like how fucked up ballerina's feet get from dancing, the main reason this is on the list is because she starts having hallucinations that she is literally becoming a swan, and this manifests by way of her neck elongating, her eyes going completely red, the goosebumps on her arms erupt into actual feathers, she starts pulling bloody black feathers from her back, and the skin on her toes fused together becoming webbed. Blasphemous. Blasphemous is a hack and slash metroidvania game that takes place in a dark and unforgiving world where people's sins have physically manifested due to something called the Grievous Miracle, which has twisted humans into painful monstrosities. There are a lot of enemies and non-enemies that fit the bill here, including a lot of the bosses. Cube Zero. Cube Zero is the third film in the Cube franchise and is easily the most gory, with standout scenes like a man drinking what he thinks is flavorful water, only to realize it's some kind of acid. It causes the skin on his arms and then that of his face to fall off, revealing the bloody tissue beneath, and then he melts into a pile of gory skin and flesh. Also, several razor wires shoot across a room wrapping themselves around a man's limbs, which then slowly tighten until the man's head, arms, legs, and waist are sliced into large bloody chunks. Hungry Lamu this is a weird one. Hungry Lamu is a free-to-play horror indie game. The game starts as a simple 2D collection game where you play as Lamu, who's hungry and searching for food. It starts off innocently enough as you eat some cherries. Eventually, this leads to him eating a banana dog and three fruit people. After this, the game takes a dark turn. You're now playing a first-person horror game where you're on the same campgrounds Lamu just was. Only these aren't fruit people. They're actually your friends that Lamu has mutilated and eaten, including your dog, who was no banana. It's kind of a cool setup, and there are multiple endings where you can try and uncover the truth behind Lamu's unstoppable hunger. Phantasm Phantasm is a cult classic horror movie and franchise that follows the tall man, the antagonist and sinister supernatural undertaker. The films are full of gory deaths, but the true horror comes into what happens to the dead. The tall man reanimates them, crushing their bodies down to dwarf size and enslaving them to be zombie dwarf slaves. Damn. Save Ralph. Save Ralph is a short film made by the Humane Society of America. It feels fairly upbeat at first, although Ralph's right eye is clearly dead and he can't hear out of his right ear. He then mentions the fact that he has chemical burns up and down his back. Eventually, Ralph is taken into a lab where a chemical is poured onto his eye, and I have to say, despite the slightly cartoonish look overall, the stop-motion animation is top-notch and this scene is very hard to watch. Afterwards, Ralph is shown with gnarly burns on his back and now both his eyes completely messed up. It's a very sad short and and it's pretty effective in making you feel uncomfortable. Skin Tom. Skin Tom is an old urban legend about a man who takes a woman out to Lover's Lane, not realizing she was married. The woman's husband follows her, only to find the two having sex in his car. The angry husband stabs his wife in the stomach and throws her aside, then proceeds to skin Tom alive. The police arrest the husband, but never actually find Tom, only his filleted skin. The legend says he's still out there haunting Lover's Lane as a skinless monster with a knife. Okay, that's just fun. I, I don't think we've really done a lot of schoolyard urban legends like that, so it's kind of cool to see it on the list. Suspiria. Suspiria is an Italian horror film from 1977 about a ballet student who goes to a dance academy in Germany. However, several bizarre deaths surrounding the school turn her study abroad into a nightmare. So, some spoilers here. It turns out that the headmistress of the school is essentially an undead witch, which is where the body horror comes into play. It's also worth noting that there was a 2018 remake of this film where the headmistress, Helena Mark looks even more terrifying, being a hideous mess. There's also a scene where a woman transforms and has a massive gaping bloody vagina form on her chest. Plus, there's a great scene of a woman's body being violently twisted and broken in a horrible way by magic. Both movies seem highly disturbing. Sweet Home. 
In a previous Iceberg video, I covered Sweet Home, the Japanese horror film and video game adaption, but I noticed while doing the research that there's actually a Korean horror comic and TV show of the same name that has plenty of body horror itself. It's about a post-apocalyptic event that turns people into monsters, and a group of people attempt to survive this in an apartment building. The monsters in the show look pretty cool and freaky, and I just thought it was worth a mention. The Book of Lost Things the Book of Lost Things is a novel about a boy who loses his mother to a terminal illness. After this, he enters a fantasy world full of strange creatures and mythical people. One of these is known as the Huntress, who, in an attempt to create a more entertaining breed of prey, has resorted to decapitating children and attaching their heads to animals. The Callisto Protocol the Callisto Protocol is a sci-fi horror action game that features body horror galore in the form of the biophage pathogen, which turns humans into grotesque, undead-like creatures. This person doesn't exist.com. This is a very strange one and maybe a stretch in terms of body horror, but I'll let you be the judge of that. This person doesn't exist.com is a website that, when entered, will simply show you the portrait of a person. The thing is, the person is completely AI generated. These are not real people at all. You can refresh over and over just getting constant portraits of people that look like any other human. It's kind of insane and a little eerie. American Psycho. American Psycho is a fairly disturbing film, but not at all by comparison to the book, which takes the torture to a much more depraved level. In case you don't know anything about American Psycho, it's about a wealthy businessman in New York who's secretly a serial killer. There are some very brutal acts in this book, and just a fair warning, these are very graphic, but they involve burning a woman's eyeball with a lighter till it explodes, using a chainsaw to cut a girl in half, then pulling her legs away while she's still conscious, grinding up a girl into hamburger meat and eating it, and probably the most disturbing, using acid to widen the opening of a girl's vagina, then forcing a starved rat inside to eat through her womb and stomach. Damn, that's one of the most brutal things I've heard on this iceberg in a while. Dogscape. Dogscape is a very surreal creepypasta. It's based on the concept that the world suddenly becomes completely engulfed in dog flesh. Essentially everything natural in the world is made up of living dog parts. The story is told in a series of logs written by a man named Doc. I'll read an excerpt from log 4. The Dogscape, that's what we call it. Us humans that banded together, I mean. We sit around campfires and cook the whelps we collect from the dog trees. The only flammable material we have is the acrid fur that grows everywhere. It offends all senses, but soon the meal is prepared. The only food sources are the dog trees and the mother mounds. Some, foolish enough, dig for meat. Though the reward is great, many don't come back, for the dog flesh regrows above them, trapping them inside the moist ground. So, you get the idea. It's great because the concept is really ridiculous and should be silly, but it just actually plays out so unnerving at the same time. Het. This is in reference to a very specific game over screen on a bootleg Mario Bros. ripoff. The game over screen has a mysterious option simply called Het. When clicked on, Felix the Cat rips his flesh off. Yikes. Brain Damage. This is one of the wackiest films on the list. Brain Damage is from the same director who brought his basket case. You know, the one where the guy keeps his deformed twin brother in a basket. So, you know this is going to be insane. Brain Damage is about Brian, the poor guy who contracts a parasite. The parasite speaks perfect English and has the calmest tone and demeanor. It's hilarious. Plus, his little eyes crack me up. Well, anyway, the little guy gives Brian a steady supply of mind-altering drugs in exchange for human brains to feast on. The movie is batshit crazy and has all kinds of memorable scenes like Brian having a hallucination that blood is pouring out of his head, Brian hallucinating that the meatballs in his spaghetti are little brains, and pretty much any time the parasite kills anyone. Death Becomes Her Death Becomes Her is one of those films that I'm just shocked I've never heard of. It stars Goldie Hawn, Meryl Streep, and Bruce Willis. Plus, it was directed by Robert Zemeckis, one of my favorite directors. I guess this one just kind of slipped through my fingers, but it's a very weird movie full of bizarre effects, mostly concerning the body. The basic idea is that two frenemies and rivals are competing for the love of the same man. They both, at different points, consume a magical potion that supposedly gives them eternal youth. While this is true, the potion also grants immortality. At a certain point, one of the women breaks their neck and is pronounced technically dead without a pulse, but somehow still living. From there, the women's bodies continue being messed up in different ways without them dying. It's a really bizarre film, and it doesn't really play like a horror as much as it does a dramedy. The various injuries look awesome, though, and the film actually won an Oscar for the effects, which makes sense because they look great for the time. Fall Guy Anatomy. This is a meme in the same vein as the Hamburger Helper Anatomy, where someone asked the question, 
What's going on under the skin of a Fall Guy? This of course led to digital artists all giving their renditions of what this disturbing anatomy might look like. Fantastic Planet. This is a really trippy animated fringe film from the 70s where, in the future, giant blue humanoids have a technologically advanced society where they treat humans like pets, controlling their population and even torturing them. It's very bizarre and also very fascinating to watch, a lot of that having to do with the stellar visuals and art style, including many strange alien beasts that look like body horror abominations. Definitely check this one out if you're into 70s sci-fi, just don't fall asleep watching it like I did or you'll have some freaky ass dreams. Gerald's Game Gerald's Game is a film based on the Stephen King novel. The premise is that a couple rents an isolated lake house to try and rekindle their love life. They try and kink it up by handcuffing the woman to the bed, but her husband suffers a heart attack and dies, leaving the woman trapped. It then follows her descent into insanity, hallucinating her dead husband talking to her as she becomes fatigued and dehydrated. So, there's some spoilers here, but the body horror unfortunately reveals a little, like, the woman cutting and peeling the skin from her arm back in order to slip out of the handcuffs, and the real horror comes in at one point when she wakes up in the middle of the night to see a deformed man standing in the corner of the room. This scene is actually really freaky because there's no horror music or jump scares, it's just really capitalizing on that fear of waking up to a figure in your room. So here's where the major spoiler comes in. It turns out that the deformed man is not a hallucination but a serial killer who has sex with male corpses and then eats their faces. I know, what the fuck, right? So, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's Gerald's game. Green Inferno. Green Inferno is a brutal torture film by Eli Roth. I mean, that's all you need to know right there. It feels like a sort of homage to Cannibal Holocaust in which some students travel to the Amazon only to be abducted, tortured, and eaten by cannibals. You can imagine the type of horrific shit that goes down, but here are some highlights from the IMDb Parents Guide. A man has his eyes taken out, his tongue cut out, his arms and legs cut off, and decapitated while he's still alive. The headless, armless, and legless corpse of a male victim has portions of flesh slowly cut off with a sharp instrument and then chewed upon by the cannibal tribespeople stemming from children to women. A man is stabbed in the side of the neck with a tranquilizer dart by another captive whilst trying to escape. Several others lean down as he falls to the ground biting into his arms and chest. His intestines are pulled out from his chest and hoisted up bloodily. A villager child then runs from the devouring crowd hoisting an amputated bloody leg. I know that the scene is horrific, but the idea of a kid being super hyped on getting a leg to himself is hilarious. Anyway, that's not even half of the gore in this movie. It's full of just crazy, brutal mutilation. Help, I'm a fish. What, you haven't heard of I'm a Fish, the Danish-German-Irish film about a kid accidentally being turned into a fish? Well, besides the basic body horror of being turned into a fish, I'm sure this is referring to the specific scene where the antagonist starts turning back into a human, and, well, it's particularly disturbing. Inland Empire Inland Empire is a very surreal David Lynch movie. Some say it's confusing and hard to follow, and others say it perfectly captures the feeling of a dream or nightmare. Either way, it's on the list because of some strange horror, like these bunny people, for instance. But the film's known for having one of the most horrifying jump scares of all time when a woman slowly runs up to the camera. I think a lot is lost here without the context of the rest of the film, but I do see if you're in the right mind how the imagery could get ya. There's another scene from this movie that also has a well-known jump scare, and everyone says that in the context of the film it's truly horrifying, and I get that, but without the context of the entire film, it's, well, you be the judge. For anyone just listening to audio, basically the woman's face is just poorly photoshopped onto a man's face and some jarring music plays. It's weird. Kingdom Death Monster. Well, this is an interesting one. I think it might be our first board game to hit the iceberg. Kingdom Death is a cooperative board game where you form a settlement. The game begins after the group has defeated a monster. They celebrate their victory with a yearly lantern festival followed by a ceremonial hunt against another monster. The game is a story-driven campaign that takes place over approximately 30 of these lantern years and apparently it can take over 60 hours to complete a full playthrough. That's actually really cool. Anyway, the body horror comes into play here with the monsters themselves, which are all nightmarish creatures. Props to the art on these things, they look horrifying. Lasagna Cat Well, I actually just covered Lasagna Cat in my YouTube Horror Iceberg video. I'd feel weird repeating all the same stuff here, so just go check out that video. But in brief, Lasagna Cat is a really strange Garfield parody YouTube channel that's been around on YouTube for like 15 years. The videos got more and more bizarre, eventually leading to the final video on the channel, which turns into a strange nightmare art film with a high school girl giving birth to a baby in a bathroom stall. 
Yeah, like I said, go check out the YouTube horror video. Let It Die. Let It Die is a hack and slash game where you transcend a post-apocalyptic tower killing enemies along the way. These enemies are typically grotesque creatures. Now, what can we do with this fella? Now, What Can We Do With This Fella is a comedic horror cartoon that shows a relatively normal man whose body is completely mutilated and reshaped by the artist. Rejected. Rejected is a short film by Don Hertzfeld that's really a blast to the past for me because I remember this being iconic as far as animation on YouTube back in the day and completely forgot about it until now. It's a series of short animations that were supposedly made for the Family Learning Channel and understandably rejected. It's purely comedy, but it's on the list because some of the segments have random acts of violence, like one where a man rips another man's midsection out and then wears it like a hat for no apparent reason, and probably the most memorable is this puffy creature whose anus starts bleeding profusively. Shivers. Shivers is a Cronenberg film, and obviously I'm a fan of David Cronenberg, as any body horror fan should be, but I actually haven't seen this film. It's about a community in a high-rise apartment who contract parasites that turn them into sex-crazed lunatics. The whole premise being that these parasites were made by a madman who wants the world to return to its primitive urges and become a massive orgy. Well, that explains the working title of the movie, which was Orgy of the Blood Parasites. The parasites are gnarly, they're pretty big and look like little alien dicks, and you can imagine the type of gross out body horror scenes we get with this. Sludge Life Sludge Life is a strange first person open world game and is only on the iceberg for laughs because there's a cat in the game with two buttholes. I hate when cats put their asses in your face, but imagine you got two little sarlacc pits winking at you every time. Ugh. Tool Parabola the music video to Tool's Parabola is incredibly weird, with a scene where very creepy malformed businessmen eat fruit and then proceed to puke black liquid in a circle, and also a dude with weird tentacle things coming out of his eyes. Warhammer Warhammer is a dark fantasy role-playing game and is mostly on the list due to Chaos Mutations, a long list of growing mutations that have been spreading through the world of Warhammer. A few examples are Beak Your face twists and contorts and flesh around your mouth lincolns and hardens, forming a beak. Bird's leg. Patches of flesh on one of your legs sprout wings and flutter away like bloody butterflies on the wind. What's left becomes hardened and scaly with clumped flesh akin to a bird's leg. Headless. Your body sucks its head into itself. After a few disorienting moments, your face pushes out of your chest. So these are just a few examples, but they're all really fun and gross to read. Warlock, 1989. Warlock is a film about a warlock from the 1600s who's sent to the future by Satan to modern-day California along with a witch hunter who follows him. It's essentially a horror movie with the warlock killing or cursing several people, including killing an unbaptized child to gain the power of flight. Though, it's probably on the list because of an aging curse he puts on a woman who starts rapidly aging. Wonder Chosen. Wonder Chosen is a bizarre sketch show from the early 2000s that a lot of people say was ahead of its time as it feels like something that would be very popular on modern day Adult Swim. It's essentially a fake children's show that's a kind of parody of PBS with a mix of live action and animation. The show's hilarious, but it does have some nightmare fuel segments like randomly putting a video of a fox decomposing and Mr. Body stealing a kid's lungs and eating them while he suffocates. 60 bucks for a game, ooh yeah. Ouya is a Kickstarter-funded game console releasing back in 2013, and this was an animated ad for the console where a man sits on the couch pissed off about spending $60 for a new game. He's so mad that he projectile vomits filling the room with puke and then ripping out his spine and beating his head in with it so that the body crumples and his brain exposes. It really feels like an homage to 90s gross-out humor, but a lot of people said, what does this have to do with Ouya? Tier 5. Crudapira. Kudapira is a mythological creature from Brazilian folklore. I guess the word means covered in blisters, although I haven't seen any confirmation that the creature is actually blister-ridden. But it is said to be of dwarf size and covered in red fur. Supposedly, the creature kills any hunters who take unnecessarily from the forest, and its main distinguishing feature is the fact that its feet are turned completely backwards. Weird. Fight, Ixer 1. Fight Ixer 1 is a classic mecha sci-fi anime about a race of evil aliens coming to take over Earth, only stopped by another alien chick who must fuse with a high school girl in order to power a mech to kill them. Wild. Well, there's plenty of body horror as the aliens take over humans, turning them into mutant monsters. Flay Away. Flay Away is another crazy infomercial from Adult Swim. The entire premise is that body hair is disgusting, and we see hyper-exaggerated bodies showing disgusting-looking pubes and body parts. Well, the solution to this? Flay Away. Yeah, just straight up removing your skin. It's really gross, but it also leans more towards a cartoony look. Some people think it's disgusting for the sake of being disgusting and not remotely funny, but what can I say? I find it hilarious. 
Food. Another weird one by Jan Svenkmeyer, the dude who made the movie about a tree baby, and also that really strange Wonderland adaptation. Well, food is a short film segmented by different meals. In lunch, two men can't stop eating everything, including their own clothes. There's some weird stop motion effects here when they eat stuff with their heads enlarged, and it just looks really creepy. In dinner, people are eating body parts, including a pair of breasts and a penis. It's not particularly gory or anything, but it's just really weird, and also kind of awesome. Human Form Human Form is a weird Korean body horror film about perfection where people all slowly get surgeries to look the same. It's a weird one and is definitely off-putting. It's on Vidzi, a YouTube channel that also has the Dolls with Attitude short film, which has some similar qualities to it. Imbunche I'm probably saying that wrong, but it's a Chilean folklore creature described as a deformed human with its head twisted backwards, along with having twisted arms, fingers, nose, mouth, and ears. The creature walks on one foot, or on three feet, actually one leg and two hands because one of its legs is attached to the back of its neck. It cannot talk and communicates only by guttural, rough, and unpleasant sounds. Mission 3 Boss, Blazing Chrome. Blazing Chrome is a running gun 2D shooter and an homage to the retro genre. This entry obviously is specifically talking about the third stage boss, where you essentially fight an alien creature from inside of it, shooting out its eyes and appendages. Mr. Dweller Mr. Dweller is a truly insane channel most people would classify as cringe. Most of his popular videos are just strange versions of the Mr. Incredible Becoming Uncanny meme, and I'm assuming it's on the list because a lot of those videos have really gross images of just fucked up bodily injuries or diseases. Also, he has a video of him saying Mr. Beast for 10 hours straight, so... There's that. Oh my gosh, it works, guys. This is artwork by Yakpu on Twitter based on a drawing tip of just drawing an Among Us character with big shoes to get perfect anime eyes. Yakpu takes this to a hilarious extreme, having the characters burst out of the head. Poultry Guys, Night of the Chicken Dead. Poultry Guys is another trauma film. Now, I could do a whole video on trauma just because of how insane their films are, but let's just focus on this one for now. The whole premise of this film is that a new restaurant has opened up on an ancient tribal burial ground, and now the chicken is coming back from the dead and turning people into chicken zombies. It's truly insane and pretty hilarious with a ton of messed up gore, like a man's nipples turning into eggs that chickens then hatch out of, or a broom being shoved up a man's ass and then protruding through his penis on the other side. There's a ton of crazy shit going down here. Street Trash in Street Trash, a liquor store owner starts selling a strange booze concoction that he finds in the basement to homeless people. Turns out the stuff is horribly toxic and causes people to straight up melt and explode in graphic, horrifying detail. There's also a famous scene from this movie where a homeless man gets his genitals cut off and other homeless people start playing keep away with it. No, seriously, that happens. The Nukalavi. Another classic folklore creature here, the Nukalavi of Scotland, is described as a man's torso attached to a horse's back as if it were a rider. The male torso has no legs, but its arms can reach the ground from the position on top of the horse's body, the legs of which have fin-like appendages. The torso has a large head, possibly as much as three feet in diameter, that rolls back and forth. It actually has two heads. The horse head has an enormous gaping mouth that exudes a pungent, toxic vapor and a single giant eye like a burning red flame. And the cherry on top of the body horror cake here is that the Nukalavi has no skin. It's pretty cool to see all these old folklore creatures on the iceberg because these are awesome. The Sand is a movie about sand that eats people. It fits right in with the sort of ridiculous horror concept movies that were springing up so much in the 2010s, and although the concept is theoretically horrifying, it's hard to take it seriously. Volley, three minute clip dot mp4. This is one of those videos that's really hard to explain and you should just watch it, but it's a stop motion animation of what appears to be a cave person and their dog, and they truly look horrifying. A bunch of weird, gross looking body stuff happens, eventually the person gives birth and it's very unpleasant. This short was made by Monica Cook, who has a few weird stop motion shorts like this, so check her out if you want to be unnerved. Eight Minutes in Hell Eight Minutes in Hell is a short film about a woman who's dead eight minutes and is resurrected, but she spent those eight minutes in hell. It's kind of goofy, but for a small production, it kind of reminds me of a low-budget horror movie. There's a part where she sees another person who's chained up with their flesh rotted away as they scream in agony. It's the type of video they would play at church to try and scare people, but instead of being scared, all the kids thought it was rad. Blazing Star Blazing Star is a Neo Geo shooter game whose final boss, called the Crooked Embryo, is a transforming fetus. It's equal parts disturbing and hilarious, especially when it pulls out a gun and starts shooting at you. Curse 2, The Bite 
The bite is about a man who gets bitten by a mutated radioactive snake and then starts slowly transforming into a snake-human abomination. There's a wicked cool scene where he rips a nurse's jaw off. I just thought you should know. Final Flesh. Final Flesh is one of the strangest and most creative films on this list. Essentially, the film was made by sending the most deliberately absurd and ridiculous scripts to four different companies that specialize in making custom fetish pornography and having the porn actors act out the scripts. It's on the iceberg more as a goof since the only body horror is very loose and purely comedic, like a woman pretending to give birth to a slab of meat. But I wanted to make sure this was included because it's so ridiculous and actually a clever idea. Yakov Burov is a YouTube channel that describes itself as Ukrainian weirdcore. The videos all share an unpleasant but well done art style that's all photoshop manipulations of actual images, although very distorted and usually gory with a lot of nudity as well. The most popular video on the channel is titled Poison Porridge and has swastikas in the title and throughout the video. In the video, a very disturbed man kills a pregnant woman cutting her face off and wearing it and then taking the baby out of her stomach and raising it, now posing as the mother, using her face. It's really bizarre and probably probably deserves a deep dive, so maybe I'll make a whole video on it. Monsterd. I bet you'll never guess what Monsterd is about. Oh, did you say it's about a serial killer mixing with a toxic chemical in a sewer to become a giant turd monster that goes on a killing spree? Wow, yeah, you, you nailed it. That's exactly what this is. Mr. McMahon's Kiss My Ass Club. In case you didn't know anything about pro wrestling, Vince McMahon is the head honcho of the WWE as well as a performer. On several occasions, he's actually made other wrestlers kiss his ass or face the consequences. These unfortunate souls are part of a club that's now known as the Kiss My Ass Club. Well, this entry is a lost media television show and was going to be a cartoon all about Vince McMahon's ass that has its own personality. I don't know what they were thinking pitching this, but it does sound like something that would be popular on Adult Swim. Mutant Girl Squad. Mutant Girl Squad is a hyper-violent Japanese film in the same vein as The Machine Girl or Tokyo Gore Police, in which a normal high school girl learns that she's the descendant of a long line of mutants. She joins a group of mutant rebels that fight off anti-mutants who are out to kill her with her now mutated arm that is kind of like Freddy Krueger's glove, but organic. It's full of goofy yet extreme violence and feels like an anime come to life. Sexual Parasite, Killer Pussy. This is one of those obscure Japanese exploitation films that I'm having a really hard time finding online, but the plot is essentially that a group of young adults go on a trip to a cabin in the woods, and one of them has a parasitic vagina monster that starts killing everyone. It sounds nutty as hell, but I have a feeling a lot of people are checking this one out for something other than the horror. Standing Woman this is a short film that really stands out on the iceberg. It's original, beautifully shot, and actually has good actors. The premise is that in the near future, crime is dealt with by essentially turning criminals into trees. However, the standard for being a good citizen has gotten extremely high. Even speaking out against the program itself will get you planted, as it's now called. The short follows a couple as a woman is planted for speaking out. You can see that the longer someone has been planted, the more they resemble a tree, but in the early stages, they're more human, just with bits of branches and bark growing on them. It is body horror, but honestly it's also tragic and worth a watch. The Natamorphos, I could be saying that wrong, is a movie where a woman wakes up to find her flesh is slowly rotting away. It's a pretty horrifying concept. Chirpy. Chirpy is a really weird animated film about a bird who eats psychedelic mushrooms and trips balls. While tripping, he sees all kinds of crazy shit like a mutated cow. But the reason this film is infamous and banned in London by the ruling of the Westminster Council in 2002 is because in the latter half of the film, Chirpy encounters a brown talking horse and, well, he proceeds to have sex with it. We're gonna get freaky bird. You know what I mean? <laughs> Now, I can't show most of this without the video being taken off of YouTube, but keep in mind that Chirpy is a tiny bird, and although at first Chirpy simply pleasures the horse by slapping its balls, they eventually actually have intercourse, and the horse's wang practically splits the little bird in half. It's fucking insane, and definitely one of the most what the fuck things I've watched researching this iceberg. Monster Encounters Stop Motion Animation this is a short film by James Smith on his YouTube channel, Splittershot. It features several encounters with different monsters that all kill their victims in different ways. I'm a big fan of stop motion and the work that goes into it, so major props. Speaking of stop motion, what it's like being alone. This is an animated stop motion series that aired on Canadian television about a bunch of mutant orphans and their lives living in an orphanage. It aired in 2006, and I guess audiences just found it too weird for the time, so unfortunately it only got 13 episodes. It's a pretty unique idea, so it's a shame you won't see what it could have grown into. I gave my whole life for this, it don't mean a thing. Blacked out light. 
hurts and broken wrists It can't make you happy It's like dreaming awake I think I'm dreaming awake